Hello, everybody. I think I'm about ready to get started. We have a lot of people to thank for recent follows. Welcome in Parameter. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I was gonna say I I'm feeling super wiped out. I slept most of the <laughs> most of the afternoon. That Friday, going from 6:30 to basically 6:30 of work was really brutal. I was like, I just don't have time to set up honestly for the Saturday games. So we're gonna do some, I guess, some PSO as a post stream, or post event stream wrap up, I guess. And then next week, we will continue with the chat selected games. I think tomorrow will just be another very quick one off, but TBD. I'm not sure if that'll be Dicey Dungeons or whatever. We'll see. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and just boot up PSO. We have to deal with the badges, and I guess today we could set up for spearing, maybe? I guess in theory I could spear my first thing. I've never actually speared before in PSO. So I gotta do the quest to unlock it, sadly. Switch over to the PSO screen. So I'm gonna see how many badges I have before I do any conversions. This is not the right character bank. Hopefully you're doing well in Parameter. gonna say depending on what people need we might do some cookie quests today i think hellcleave is looking to level some characters i do not mind helping hellcleave out a little bit while having other people's ults leveled i think this is the character that has what i want find out in real time There's all the bronze badges. It is apparently drop rate up. Yeah, I do have a 55 hit disc if I do want to convert it for other things, but we'll see. Yeah, I got some lower end Jaya's if I want to give those away. You have a decent amount of charge Vulcans, which I'll need for the Hue casts. You have an LNK in here, just sitting here. 45 Dark is actually kind of insane. That's like a Hue Castile dream. Uh, so here's my gold badges. Just looking for that. Wait, does he have 99 and then 99? That's okay. I was like, wait a minute, am I actually kept on bronze? I actually cannot put any more gold badges into the bag. That is interesting. Well, in that case, we only need 95 for gold. So I'm gonna remove four. Put these back. Just gonna cap however many bronze badges I could put in there. That means I still met like 180 something bronze badges. I'm gonna just gamble, I think, 99 bronze badges on stream. I don't think there's anything else I really want from here. Yeah. The other thing I'm gonna make sure that we get out. Somebody has my photon sphere. Who is it? I mean, I guess I could convert these into a photon horde. He's apparently not holding any PDs, which I find interesting. So we're just gonna go quickly do that, and then we're just gonna go through my characters one by one in the share bank just to get everything together. Yeah, sadly, in order to do spearing, we do need to ensure... Talk to him twice, that's annoying. There we go. So I do have to ensure at some point that I do the East Tower and the West Tower. So that way I have one character that can consistently unlock weapons and I'm not like going back and forth. I was gonna say, that was the right bank, right? Okay. <laughs> Just, I didn't really think about it until then. 
So we're gonna see how many uh, spheres I have. I think I have one or two already made. And then we're gonna use badges to go the rest of the way. I think for tonight I might just do one percentage. The thing I was going back and forth on is I probably want machine. I probably want dark. I don't know if I should be building a Baran's launcher for a specific area. So if I only if I only go to 99% on one of the attributes, it doesn't really matter if I change my mind later. So I'm kind of torn between if I wanted, for example, something that's more geared towards desert, which is kind of like a mix of native and dark, or if I just want to have something that's more geared for seabed, which would be potentially like machine dark. But at that point, I'd probably be using hell stuff instead of charge. So I don't know. I felt... I felt undecided as of uh, the beginning of the stream. So yeah, I'm just going to take every little group combination of 99 PDs, and I'm just going to put them in my bag as such. I already have four Photon Spheres. Oh. That's more than I thought. <laughs> right, chat? Oops. Oops, I, uh, well... I only technically need six. <laughs> I'm going to get at least one from gold badges. So yeah, that was that was definitely overdue. So I have some things to think about. So I'm just curious how many total PDs I have. So I need to do extremely little in terms of making sure I have more PDs. So we're, we're going through the quote-unquote untapped wealth at the moment. I'm gonna put the four spheres in the bank. I have two dragon scales. I was telling Help if I had a feeling I had at least two. We have three photon hordes worth of it, and I need... I believe 40 PDs in order to finish off a weapon. So for every attribute, I'll need 40. Because basically it's 30, 30, 30. Then I need to get 10%. And I think to get the remaining 10% on it, it's 20 is 5%. There we go. We're going off of old school memory. I haven't had a reason to remember that for a long time. Also, that's a hilarious amount of photon crystals. Why do I have this many photon crystals? Honest question. Don't I have like... 40 something in this bank. No, I've less. That's fine. I don't need them in here. Well, I guess if I want to get Master Raven or something, we have the means to do so. I don't think there's anything in here I want offhand. I'm just double checking. I yeah, love the anti light ring is in there randomly. So I do have other 13s. I will probably put these in the bank to give to other characters. Alright, so we're not done. We're gonna keep checking characters. I think there's one more character that probably has it. I'm attempting to determine how many PDs I have in my- just in these banks. There's gonna be characters that have, like, somewhere between 1 and 10 because we played with them during the event. We'll, we'll call those happy little accidents later, <laughs> where, where I'll just come across 10 PDs I forgot I had. I'd rather go in the mindset of who's been hoarding, like, 99 and needs to deal with it. Yeah, like, see how she is 94? That's the stuff I'm talking about. So I probably have somewhere close to 600 PDs, if I had to guess. But she is not- she probably is 94 and then... She probably is 99 in her bank. And then I think my other character has some. We're gonna take in as many PDs as I can. Because I'm gonna convert this into a horde. Perfect. I have even more dragon skills. Well, I guess that answers Self Cleave's question earlier. I was thinking I had at least two. And I would check it out. The answer is... Oops, all dragon skill. I'm not gonna lie, the soundtrack to this game, really good. 
I have even more badges. Chat, I have way too... <laughs> also, also chat. I have way too many event eggs. We gotta figure out what to do with these. I don't even... I don't even know. Yeah, so she straight up just has two photon hordes worth. I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna say, the soundtrack quality in one year is a significant jump for Yuzuko's a hero. Kind of insane that we're hearing this already. Yeah, we have item tickets in case I want to go to the uh, item present quest. Oops, I forgot it's this way. Yeah, so we're we're gonna determine our wealth today. Hopefully we're doing well in Parameter. I'm slowly waking up. I'm just kind of curious, because this is like across an entire year, more or less. Three item tickets. We're gonna get 99 more. I have even more photon crystals, so I'm gonna move those out. I have a lot- of, oh no, I still have paints. I didn't throw these away. So many items, chat, we have to get through. Yeah, we'll we'll see who's around. Yeah, Parasite Gene Flow. Eventually we'll get them for the Hue casts. Glad you're doing well. Parts of Barans, in case I need to make more Barans launchers. Springer's right arm, that's good. Do you have a red barrier in here? Mm. Eventually I need to just make more of those. Before I walk away from this. We're putting the photon crystals in here. So yeah, we have more than enough to craft weapons. I'm thinking at least two Photon Hordes should be reserved for challenge mode weapons. And then the rest will be probably going to Spearing. So yeah, I definitely have the ability to just max it out. The question is whether I want Machine or Dark first. Machine would help, for example, if I was doing CCA, because those enemies are really annoying to kill, and most of the time I can't hell half of them. They're not bad in Seabed either. Machine boost would also help me with full up with Varan's launcher. I don't need it per se for Sinnohs anymore, because we don't really do the Sinnoh farm in TTF. That would have been like the deciding factor. I originally was thinking of just going Machine for that reason. Uh, but not really needed. So yeah, we're at five photon hordes already. So I'm thinking I can get up to six. We're only like 20 PDs off of expectations. Then after that, we just have what we call bonus. So yeah, this is just like literally a year and a half worth of, uh, badges and then... <laughs> then just a bazillion PDs from just never using them. I'll set aside some just to get some mags to complete our accounts. So we'll have to decide at some point what, uh, I guess IDs the remaining character slots will go. So all the characters you see here as the share bank characters eventually need to be redone. But that that's more of a I'll get to it when I get to it kind of thing. So as we make more hue casts, for example, I'm just going to transfer over everything the Sharebank character on the equivalent slot is holding into them. But until that happens, I'm not in a rush. Do you have 99 PDs? You do have 99 PDs. Yeah, like, it's definitely important for me to have these things. Just more annoying to move them once they're here. So I guess if I was thinking super long term, I could have thought about what would go in here in terms of like my final character bank. I think it'll end up being one Phonumen and then maybe three raw casts or something. I think I'll have like a bank seven of just four hue casts, three ra three raw casts of my remaining Phonumen here for bank eight. 
Then bank six, we already finished, I think. Yeah, we already finished bank six. And that only leaves one additional slot in bank five, if I'm counting correctly. So we can make one more ranger of any type, I guess. So I might make like a red raw marl or something. And after that, that's done. I don't really want to make a second account with other characters. I mostly just want to make sure I have really strong boss rush characters. So I'll probably do everything but pink ID on raw cast. We already have yellow. So I might do blue and maybe Viridian raw cast. Maybe. I guess it just depends on what I want out of uh, RT. I do like Red ID as Huka Seal every now and then, but she needs like a very specific setup to do well. Uh, so she's not holding any badges, that's mostly what I wanted to determine. So I have a million grinders for the challenge mode weapons, because I think they could get up to like 120, 150, 200 something grinders. So having 99 try grinders is a good start on several of my characters. Because I'll probably be making three or four challenge mode weapons in the near-ish future. After this, we'll do some, I guess, bronze badge gambling. I haven't decided if I want to gamble a lot of the eggs or not. But technically, that's also just kind of floating currency, where I could turn them into almost anything. In chat saw I had multiple stacks of bronze badges, so it's not like I'll run out of ad slots or anything. If I really wanted to, I could convert my silvers into like 10 more gold badges. But given that there's no reason to do that, I'd rather just hold on to it for now. So yeah, we're gonna end up with uh, 6 photon hordes at the end of the day. Pretty solid. That means I have approximately 660-ish PDs. Not bad. Hmm. I guess I'll do the gambles on my Fomaro. Apparently she's the character that hit the leaderboards for gambling. I don't even remember doing any of that on stream. I, I'm sure I did like the 1k gambles, but I don't think the stuff where I was doing the serious hardcore gambling with her I did on stream before. That's That's more of a question to the audience if they even remember me gambling with this character. That's how long it's been. That would have been back when she was at, like, 100 hours of play. And I'll put it this way, I don't even play her that much. I did, I barely played her this year. She's very good, but... We have characters that just match a little more the identity of what you're doing. Yeah, so she has silver badges, too. She can't even get rid of the silver badges. Why did I go to... Ep I don't know why I went to episode 2. I think that was habit. I'm like, wait a minute, I have to go to episode 1 for the badge quest. Now the question is... What is Corrin's prize pool right now? I think it'll be doing the... Sunday one, because it's after the time, I think. Sunday just has the god power, that's the one I don't care about. I think I missed the good one, sadly. Yeah. Unless it turns over at 8 o'clock. I mean, I guess I could just do a couple gambles for the sake of gambles. I always forget with the time zone what time it actually does it. I'm usually not looking at the clock when it happens. I'll do some gambles for the sake of gambling. You're wide open! Thank you, Kobizmi. Hope you're doing well today. There we go. We gotta, we gotta pump those leaderboard numbers slightly. Two, two more. And then we're gonna have to free up her inventory for uh, the bronze stuff. Automated. Damn. And final one. Rip telepipe. Not interesting. Oh, is it? I just learned that this game exists as Kobizmi. Welcome. Oh, seven more minutes? Oh, we're, we're doing the gamble then. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. I can get three seals right now. I want three seals. Unironically. Let's 
gonna say. Look at that mash chat. Uh, we're gonna mash it out for like five minutes. Sorry, chat. <laughs> like, wait a minute. I actually unironically wanted three seals. The odds of me getting it in six minutes are pretty unlikely. But hey, that's it. That's why you gotta play the odds sometimes. Man, I miss I miss Turbo so much. Turbo gambling made this so fast. But alas, here I am mashing. Your paralysis, that's actually a pretty good pickup. You know what? I can't even get mad at that. That's actually... That was kind of worth it. At least spent like 20,000 to get it. I think Chad would agree. That like... that Of all the things you can get that are, is not three seals, that's probably one of the best ones I could have gotten. So if we get nothing else later, I'm happy with that. Body blocked by that NPC so hard. Did you see that chat? She's like, hold on. Thou shalt not progress. Oh, she's already capped. That's annoying. How oh, she's capped there too? How many grinders does she have? Wait a minute, right, chat? Wait a minute. Did you see that? How is she capped on what? She's kept on power materials too. Wait a minute. Hold on. Is she holding like a bazillion materials I need to know about? Like it oh, she's capped in the bank. That makes more sense. I was like, there's no way. There's no way. That made no sense. Alright, let's get that out of there. Alright, we'll worry about that later. I think I freed up my inventory enough to go for the next five minutes without interruption. Yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to clean out her inventory. She probably doesn't have anything interesting in there anymore anyway. That's what I get for mashing. Get good shield. There you go. There we go. I haven't done the 1k gambles in a long time. Hope you're doing well, Cup as me. We were going to do the bronze badge gambling because I'm looking for a three seals. But hey, if it's Saturday, I'll do it. Thank you, Calvishim, for the good luck. I hope you're doing well, Calvishim. I saw you mentioning uh, Rasputin in your uh, stream title. I'm assuming you got to what I'm going to call tentatively the worst part of Shadow Hearts 2. Where you just play as Anastasia for no reason for like three hours. The plot really does come to a halt there. It, it did not flow naturally. Well, three is an exaggeration. It's like two and a half. But it is a really long time. If you're checking all the rooms, it's at least an hour and a half. It's a very big place. Yeah, I like Shadow Hearts too, but there's moments. You got your mind's eye? Nice. Yeah, like, I think it took up, like, almost half of the session, if I remember correctly. I love how, like, super evil he is, too. I actually enjoy him as a villain for the most part. I just didn't enjoy the detour. Involving you talking to like a million noble and trying to make sure you don't miss any items because you know something terrible is going to happen and you're not going to be able to talk to them again. You're like, there's no way these people are surviving a cutscene after Rasputin does things. Because it's right before the moment in history where the revolution takes over. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to make sure we explore this. We're not coming back here, I have a feeling. Something tells me. minutes left. Check out our inventory in a little bit. I'm going to try to really mash out this confirm. Come on. 
get something good. I keep seeing unfortunate things in there. I think we're almost at the forecast change. So if nothing else, I'm still happy we got a cure paralysis because I'm probably going to need... Actually, I'm not even sure if I need them anymore, but they're always good to give out to new players. I guess if I make another human character, it doesn't hurt to have a spare one. Thumb is getting tired. There we go, I mashed that. So we're going on the final minute of 1k gambles. Let's see if we can get it. Unfortunately, there's just so much dialogue to get through. What I don't miss about the 1k gambles. This will be the final one before it times out. Ooh. Sadness of no more scripts. I don't think I was using scripts before. I was literally just using a turbo. But I don't really want to risk it on stream, to be honest with you. Okay, it just transitioned. Crap vision. Hey, did I get anything interesting in that entire gamble? No. Oh well, we tried. On the plus side, we just added to the leaderboard. That's all I see it as. <laughs> I need to gamble like 2,000 more times, I think, to get to first place or something insane. That, that puts a good debt in it. Right, what does she have in her inventory? Charge slicer with no hit percentage. I don't know why these are even in here, to be honest with you. Shadow snipers are for other things. I don't really need these handguns either. I feel like I need the strikers for something. I'm gonna skip those for now. Just get rid of the junk items that don't really do anything. That way we can actually hold more items. Pretty good cleanup, I would say. Much better. And then we could go back to the bank, put away our other items. There we go. Much better. And I just get rid of the junk that's in our inventory here. Okay, team points. Yeah, they're not even, like, rolled well or anything crazy. They're not really, really worth holding on to. But hopefully you've been enjoying Shadow Hearts 2 a bit more, Calvisha. I know for me I had some performance issues with the game. Are you having any performance issues with the latest version? I know I had to switch it into, uh... Hardware mode at several points, and that caused it to run much slower because it just—it wasn't behaving correctly on software. So if they fix that, that was my big concern last time I went to play that game. Also, I have way too many parts of in here. I should have put them away. All right, let's get rid of 99 bronze badges, and then we'll move on. We're, we're in peak gambling setup. No, 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 no. This, this, this slowdown. Yeah, the slowdowns, even with my computer, it, it's loaded down. Okay, so they still exist. It got really bad at the floating fortress. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. But for there, I remember it being real slow. It did not like the steam effects. I was like, I was like, game, please. <laughs> You, you can do it. I just need to leave this area. Uh, bad shot. There we go. We did 1k gambles. We assembled our photon hordes. I guess I play east and west tower at some point. And if Imperimeter's looking for anything, we assist Imperimeter. Otherwise, we'll figure out stuff to do.
gambles continue. Oof. Wow, we're striking out super hard already. Oh my gosh, we're striking out hard. Terrible. <laughs> okay, what are the odds of this giving me a good item? Holy. Fail. Come on, give me something other than Antidote, Monomane, and AT Paralysis, please. At least Star Atomizer's worth money. Holy. Brutal. Are we not going to get a single useful item in the first, like, 30? Hero ability? That one's terrible. Come on. There, there's better gambles in here than that. We do a little better than that. Cure, cure Freeze. Okay, that was a little better. It kind of respected what I wanted. Cure Freeze is not a bad thing to get. I don't know if this... Oh, Cure Confused. I actually do need those. Unironically, I think I do need Cure Confused. It's the one that I never really held on to. And then I realized much later in Ultimate that I needed it after I got rid of some. Another Cure Paralysis. Okay. Going better than the 1k gamble so far. We got more to go, though. Another Hero Ability. Cure Confused is actually good. I want those. If I end up with, like, four at the end of this, that'll be perfect. The reason being is that uh, if I'm playing solo for non-casts, I need Cure Confused to not just get completely wrecked by the stupid BS uh, that is the Sinnohs when I go to hunt them. And I think I only have, like, three or four on my account total. I have a surprisingly low number. Like, I think my share bank has three of them, but I have, like, none floating in my, uh, or... My share bank characters, I think, have three or four of them. But in my share bank itself, I actually don't have more than one. Your shock's okay to get. So we're gonna take a look at what 99 bronze badges give us. Another cure freeze. I don't really care about cure freeze, to be honest with you. There's like one or two runs total in the game I would consider running it. But like, it's very far from a must have. Where Cure Confused, being able to get close to things like Del Beater, or being able to deal with Sinnohs is like actually important for multiple characters. Where like Cure Freeze doesn't matter. If you have a strong team, I mean normally that's like what, Marissa and Gritabulu? Marissa should just die instantly with a strong team in Episode 4. And then if you have a good team, Gritabulu should barely get an opportunity to freeze on top of that. Oh my out. Did I mash through them all? Wow, so we actually mashed through them all. We managed to get 10 of everything, apparently. Interesting. Let's sort our inventory. So, some Cure Confuses, a Cure Shock, one Cure Paralysis. I guess that's okay. I'm gonna give her the Hero Abilities. I probably want my Cures in the Share Bank. And I need to take some stuff out of the Share Bank, because I'm overflowing it. Um, that 70 hit Demon Sniper, though, is quite something. Do you bet it's worse than the Bringer's Rifle? Right, chat? You you would think, like, a 70 hit weapon would be competitive. It's still worse than my Bringer's. <laughs> so annoying, right, chat? Shake your head. The, the disappointment in that item is real. I don't need a Flow Ins in here. Or a Luminous Field. Sacred Cloth I can leave in there for now. Take out the Flow and Shields. I forget if Secure Feed is needed for something. I think it is. Yeah, so now we're up to two Cure Confuses. We just need to hand those out to other characters and we can reduce the bank space a little bit. Get rid of some techniques. So she's low on item space, but get rid of a couple of these items and then she has to still equip everything she had before. Do one of these. Get rid of a double saber, she's never gonna use that again. 
I was using the 50 dark, 15 hit item. Get rid of an Elysian, she doesn't need those. Get rid of Windmill. Get rid of Fatsia. She can hold on to her Slicer and Vivian, that's fine. Fly Divine, we can take that out. Some of these items, as I said before, are just kind of in there. Like, Super Resist doesn't need to be in there. I wish there was an upgradable resist item with the, uh... Kind of like how you can increase the, the creates into an increase. I wish there was one to get, like, a super resist that gave 15 resist to all, but it required, like, a clear steel 5 combo. That actually would have been kind of nice. Because that would have just been, like, generically super strong, but still required, like, some grinding to get. Yeah, at least now her items should be a bit lower in the bank. Perfect. Oh, I forgot to equip her armor. Oops. <laughs> she does have a four slot congeal cloak. I could probably give that to another character, to be honest. Any luck on the gambles? Not really, sadly, Promethean. Hope you're doing well. Wait, she has a free slot? I don't remember what she had before. Now let's get rid of... Atsia. Get rid of Windmill. Let's get rid of Elysian. Let's get rid of Double Saber. There we go. That should free up her inventory significantly. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I forgot to see if there was actually any interesting weapons with it in here. Nope. Yeah, I got like a couple of cure units, which is okay. Sadly, no three seals or rare items from bronze badges. Assuming she had a PP create on, I honestly don't remember what her final slot would have been. It's probably doing something like this. Okay, right, so that's enough of that. I guess the question is, what do people want to run today? Sell that super resist, free up some slots. We cleaned out our inventory a little bit at least. Show Promethean. We have uh just a few PDs. We gotta catch up to Promethean though. <laughs> Although I'm sure the cookie gambles have gone quite hard. We we collected six photon hordes worth of PDs. We have 70 floating PDs. So hopefully we can use that to advance where we are. Also, music, please. Okay, where is the music? Oh, it's here. So, I have two photon spheres. I didn't make a photon sphere with the gold badges. I should probably do that now. So, they'll leave us with five photon spheres without needing to do any other conversions. I was asking Hellcleave separately off stream, like, for Baran's launcher, what stuff he was using. I think he mentioned, uh. Oh, there's Tiggy. Say hello to Tiggy. Oh, it transitioned over. Oh, it's, is it Rare Enemy now? That's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, it was Drop Raid earlier. Rip. We have four dragon scales to potentially finish off our new characters. I'm going to take these. Is there anything else I needed from here, actually? No, I think she was good everywhere else. Yeah, that should be fun. I guess we'll go back to the bad shop quest. 
Which I guess I didn't need to reset on. I guess I was in the badge quest already. I wasn't really thinking about that earlier. So we'll quickly do that. Get another Photon Sphere. Just get that out of the way, because I won't remember to do this otherwise. So it should be 95 for conversion. So gold badges will always have inherent value within the trading society, just because they'll end up being slightly discounted PDs. So in bulk, they matter. Can you imagine if I selected Photon Filter by accident? Chad, I would be so t I would be so tilted. <laughs> like, the tilt would be real. Yeah, this, this is what I want. There we go, we did it. We now have five Photon Spheres. We still have six Photon Hordes. And we have 70 Floating PDs. So if I want to, something get it 100% tonight. The only other thing I want to do before we go too much further is I just want to make sure to remove some of the component items out of my share bank. Because they are kind of slowing up my menuing a bit. But otherwise, let me know, chat, if there's anything you want to hunt. I don't mind just doing TTF or RTs. I'm gonna I'm gonna say listen, just because it's rare enemy week, it doesn't mean I'm gonna hunt rare enemies. So if there's anything you're looking to do, just let me know. Depending on if Hellcleave is here, we might end up doing some cookie stuff. I think Hellcleave is looking to power level. But for now, I think we got everything set aside. At some point I'll probably need assistance doing the East and West Towers, because I'm sure I've done them with a character at some point in the many, many, many years of playing, but which character did it, I have no idea. I do TTF, but I'm having crash and hang issues. Sorry to hear that, Tiki. Hey, I'm ha I'm happy to help with whatever you want, help you. Also, help you. I have dragon skills, so we're good. Just also, just FYI. Um. I love how I have, like, singular event egg. That is so trolly. Let's remove these from my share bank so it's a little easier to menu. Yeah, some stealth kits. A lot of Heaven Striker codes. <laughs> I would take that one event egg and put it in here, but alas. And I still have all these bronze badges and stuff. So we'll, we'll see what happens. At some point I should probably... You know what? I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to have her take a whole bunch of the silver badges. Because I have characters that are still holding them. I need to actually be able to do something with them. I'd rather she just hold it. Because then I could just find it quicker later. Okay. So what are people in the mood for while we're here? We did the gambles. We got not really anything of interest. We gambled with 1k as well. We have our items in order. I could check my other characters out. It is it is technically even beat if people wanted to do some episode 4. Piggy looking forward to some TTF. I don't mind doing some. I think I would prefer, like, red ID for hosting, but otherwise anything goes. Yeah, see, we have, like, a million badges we gotta get rid of. Yeah, let's... East and West Tower are fine to get out of the way, though. Yeah, I was gonna say actually, if you don't mind helping me through East and West Tower, let's let's do that into TTF slash RT. Also, I need to figure out what to do with all these power materials. <laughs> they're, 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 I think I have enough to fuel four Hugh Cass, I think. Question mark. There's technically some rocket seals that need it as well. I think I'm at like 450 or 500 or so power materials. So if I use the min-max, I could probably just give it out to everybody. Alright, let's set up then for... I guess we'll do East slash West Tower first. 
I'm assuming white ID will be strong here, so I'm just gonna bring in a white ID force. Oh wait, chat could just bring in whatever they want for it. Just get that out of the way. Offhand, I don't remember which unlocks what. Essentially, I need to unlock challenge mode and spheres. It might be... Uh, I don't know. It, it's a 50-50. I'm just gonna look it up real quick. Rather than say something wrong. So West Tower is the one that's needed for sphering. So as I mentioned earlier, 20 photon drops is 5%. So I need 40 photon drops plus 3 photon spheres to cap an attribute. So I technically have enough to just put something at 100. So yeah, let's try to get that out of the way. Yeah, so you have like all these like incidental badges we need to put away. I'm gonna go ahead and host this. And then we'll probably... I'm assuming somebody will bring in Red ID. If not, I'll play like something Red ID. So that way we could take advantage of rare enemy during Red ID uh, nonsense. I don't super care about using TTF as a uh, frozen shooter. I'd rather go for like Lava's Cannon or something silly. Keep the grinders on since they'll still drop. We got a bringers, we got pretty much everything we could ask for on this character. That poor shop is so irrelevant. So we'll wait for Hell for some assistance. And it'll probably be TTF or RT afterwards. Which, funny enough, I'm almost tempted to do uh, Pink ID RT. Just to start leveling that other uh, Rocket Seal. Speaking of which, let's look up what the stats are that we need to do if we want to do a min max for Rocket Seal. Give me one second as I look at my own notes. My notes mention... Ooh, interesting. She can have a 41 or 43 power mag. I think it super matters. Yeah, she only needs 40 or so power materials. Actually, I don't remember what uh, min-max stuff I did for Rocket Seal. I forgot there were two min-max plans. One to allow uh, celled mags or whatever. I'm probably doing the celled mags if I had to guess. Just give her some uh, dragon scale stuff. I only need 41 power material, which is not that high. The other thing I could double check is who has my luck materials. I think it's on a different character. Because if I were to look at my bank right now, I don't think I have 20-something in there. Oh, I'm only two luck material shy. That's interesting. But anyway, we have, like, completely max power material. So there's at least four characters, I want to say, that have 99. I think there's two characters that have between 50 and 60 each. So I should be able to basically min-max a few people. Maybe not the best when it comes to leveling, but it's better than nothing. I don't feel like wasting that many power materials, especially if I'm going to make a hue cast. And or I'm going to be using hell anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we'll just wait for hell cleave and anybody that wants to assist with the towers. Let's take a look at east and west tower separately. Song's popping off. Oh, Cleave has arrived. As this, as I said before, this soundtrack is actually really, really good. I'm kind of surprised by the quality already. This one was from the scheme. I forgot to mention. I'm already bobbing my head. So yeah, if I want to make some hell items, I need probably around 
200 total PDs just to get like hell on two different things, like demons. And I need 60 if I want to get a Zalora one. I'm kind of sad that if you get a Zalora special, it doesn't automatically gel in Enzalore. That actually would have been interesting. I don't see why you would ever take a gel on, to be honest. Ooh, we're, we're imagine doing challenge mode and getting HP revival. Like, that that's actual insanity. Not bad, not bad. Now, I'm just looking to see if there's anything special we have to do in the quest. I'm assuming there is. Talk to Hopkins in the lab. Kill Epsilon on the top floor, then interact with the terminal. On killing Epsilon, teleporters can no longer be created. Alright, so... Good to know. Oh, I'm assuming it's just me and Helg leave for now. Let's sort our inventory and then I guess we'll get started. Is there anything else I need here? So we'll start with East Tower, question mark. I'm gonna choose not to skip dialogue. So I need to find him, and then we're good to go. So it says he is down the ramp from the shops to the left in the corner. Okay. I think where he normally stands. See, I might have completed the quest. I don't think I've ever completed by talking to this character, though. It should be down here somewhere. There he is. done well. He, he is talking a long time. I'm going to start skipping forward. Oh, okay, just wants data. There we go. Might as well just play it on ultimate, to be honest. This does sometimes show up for other areas. I'll click doing a little dance. You know what? I think it's worth probably going back for a hell handgun. I was thinking about it, and I was like, yeah, there's going to be enough of these. Take the time loss to go get it. The question is, did I leave a V502 in my bank? I did not. That's unfortunate. Still better than nothing, I guess. Oh, did somebody also take my hell handgun? That's kind of annoying. I don't think I could do what I want to do without that then. Hmm. I wonder who has it. Oh well. I tried. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. I don't see it in there. Damn. It must be on one of my other characters. Who would have been using it last? I might have used it while I was demoing uh, Seabed. That's probably on my hue cast if I had to guess. Unfortunate.
Negan, please. What is going on? What is my Megan level that this is missing this often? Holy, it's a 29 and he misses like that? I read that correctly, right? Wow, that is actually just really unlucky. Right, chat? Wow. I'm missing like 30 and 40% multiple times in a row. Cool. There we go. Fifty hit arrest gun year. What a waste. Megan, please. There we go. <laughs> it's like it's a forty eight percent chance. I believe you could do it in three tries. I managed to land demons. Okay, that's good. That saves some time. There we go. I'm sort of contributing. The key was behind me. Good enough. Oh okay, yeah, that that felt good. That felt good watching him jump up and just nope them. Like, get out of here. Game, please. Thank you. So can't do anything here, but when we're in the control tower, we should be able to do something. There we go. Assistance. At least stun that one for a little bit. Do glide divine for some debuffs. Make it easier for Hellcleave. I'm just gonna spam demons. There we go. There we go, nice and simple. Welcome, DevG. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we're just doing some PSO, although we're going to be on a break for PSO <clears throat> for quite a few weeks. We'll be starting up uh, Ghost Trick in Castlevania next week. Getting it a little closer to the Spooktober games. Otherwise, we're just listening to some nice music. Game, please. <laughs> oh, he's not getting hit. This really sucks. I'm going to be in a damage loop for a little bit. There we go. you're doing well dev g yeah we're doing some wrap-up quests here so i can do some item forging later well, there's actually a decent number of enemies in this room boom oh that feeling when you when you definitely select a die mate, but you were just too slow. Damn. I tried. It even highlighted. It know it knows I pressed it. <laughs> just as like nope. Review. There we go. That up. Yeah, 
time. I just can't land the hit. There we go. Pop some boxes. You never know. What is is that? Oops, all try me. Oh, it's Oops All Die Mate. Ew, gross. Worse. Not bad. Hello, Gibbles. Do you want to try to walk at me, Gibbles? Oh, you tried. I saw you turn towards me. Joke's on you. I'm against the wall and a crate's in the way. That was like double checkmate. <laughs> it's like, I dare you. See, so yeah, I think when we kill the Epsilon, there should be a console we use up here. So as long as I pop boxes, we should be good. Why, hello there, double ambush. That's rude. I mean, I'll kill you eventually with Rebarda. Don't get me wrong. Hell yeah, I killed one. Of oh, the very rude spawn. Oh, hello. Be confused there, sucks. Demons, please. There we go. I sort of did my job there. Hellcleave Paralysis was far more clutch, though. We're gonna stand over here and just ignore this enemy. Oh, the early demons, GG. Now played. Percentage was in our favor. Oh, that's a weird box pattern. I don't like that at all. Nice landed of demons. That's all you can ask for. Double Ilgil, but unfortunately for them, if I go over here, they shouldn't be able to do anything. Get through for a certain luck mode playthrough. Interesting. I can't say I've ever tried to play through luck mode before. Hi everyone, this is Lita from MassageClips.com. Wait, what? Why is that in the playlist? <laughs> it's like, it's like, why is there dialogue? Yeah, okay, we're gonna do Revenge of Ishtar. Oh, there's a healing circle over here. Ludon is very excited to catch a stream. Yeah, somebody just slipped in a facial massage video in the middle of the playlist. We're technically the end. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> that was like, I guess that's one way to do advertising. Just slip it into the playlist. Yeah, it was like 10 minutes on some facial massage thing. I don't know. It was just like weird. I thought, like, I know it's not a YouTube ad because those are like gone forever. Hope you're doing well, remote battery. We're just unlocking some uh, functionality, I guess we'll call it. Then we'll be doing TTF slash RT. DevG asks, what is Blue Donna? Uh, we have in memory of one of the dumbest protagonists on stream, a automated bot where he will respond with some of his key catchphrases, where he'll just ask in a question form something that somebody in chat has said. Because all he would do in the dialogue is just say, like, they'll be like, the boss is in the final dungeon, and then he'll respond with, the boss is in the final dungeon? And I'm like, it's what he just told you, Blue Donna. <laughs> oh, I'm so dead. I am so dead. Rip me. There's no way I'm surviving this. Uh, wait, hold on. I'm gonna get unstuck here. Maybe. Oh, I have invincibility. Actually, wait, I might be fine. Can I, can I not, sh why can I not shoot him? Auto target, please. What was that? I was looking right at him and it wasn't shooting at him. Crazy. 
DSO auto aim. Where, where, where arst thou? <laughs> I needed some correction there. Let's debuff. So yeah, so he'll randomly quote something that somebody has said. Otherwise, you'll get numerous really stupid responses from him. Although, honestly, he should probably make a comment about boats. That might be what's called Aizuchi in Japanese for the listener who repeats what the speaker just said and shows they're paying attention. Maybe? But it was, like, really obnoxious and annoying in that game in particular. Like, he just literally just kept repeating over and over. I'm like, stop it. Then it's the type of person to fight something called an entire dungeon and go, like, we're fighting the same- Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, we're in the middle of, like, fighting all these horrible monsters, and then he's like, Wait a minute! Is it Terra's Pharma? And I'm like, no! You've only been fighting it for, like, an hour and a half! Of course it's Terra's Pharma, you moron! I have been at the slammed. Heal spam, heal spam, heal spam. Keep Hell Cleave alive. Enough time. I think I landed it even. Where is the this thing? Got research data. Okay, so now it should pop up in the quest thing, right? Yeah, it does. And then we have to go back somehow. Oh yeah, he's uh, 10 out of- oh, there it is. It just wasn't visually appearing. Okay. Yeah, he- he was very dumb, and it just- it got very annoying. <laughs> He had this whole big speech on what asking what boats are. He was at one point he was calling them bathtubs, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like painful. This is painful to sit through. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. It's not even that young. He's like 20s. Oh, I see. You've done well. Uh, so now. Should be good there. So that's one thing out of the way. Then we'll do West Tower. Then we'll proceed with uh, TTF or something. Put away my V5 unit, sadly. Every now and then, you can just prompt Blue Donna to give you some wonderful worlds, words of wisdom. Or he'll just what you randomly. He likes that phrase a lot. It's just me and Hellcleave, so we'll just continue onwards. The east, east Tower, now we'll do West Tower. Now the question is... Is he in the same spot or somewhere different? Talk to Hopkins in the lab, he's the same place you found him. Reverse, until you find access to journal containing the research data. Unlike the previous quest, you do not have to continue on to the control tower. Okay, I mean, well... I guess we'll at least clear to that point. Interesting. Today we learned. I found Hokley. Kelly called me static thick in there. Wait a minute. 
I was gonna say, this is Juraga. Wait a minute, I know what this song is from. Is Revenge of Ishtar Hour of Juraga? I guess I never really thought of it that way. I'm like, I heard this in Tales of Destiny. Oh, you already have the TP up? I'll go take it then. Yeah, when I played Tales of Destiny, I was like, wait a minute, some of this sounds familiar. Come to buff Helkly. Oh, power material. I kind of want that. Is it not going through the box? I don't think it is. Damn. Wait, did they... Wait, that was seriously how you opened the rooms? Wow, that's kind of terrible. <laughs> Every time I think I've seen it all in PSO, we bear witness. Okay. I'm helping. I'm actually doing okay there. I killed a decent number. Hellbeater. Rude. Oh yeah, this this played all the time in Tales of Destiny. Okay, I was gonna say that that was like maximum unlucky that it took that many vegans to kill. I deserve that. He did Draga. That's interesting. Nice. Ah, uh, I counter froze him. Stupid enemy. Get out, Blade. There's a laser barrier thing here. Guess I'll go hit this. Well, that was just rude. I mean, this is a surprising number of Sinozels, honestly. I don't remember if these have anything interesting. There's a surprising number of them early on. It would be funny if we got Heaven Striker. Oh, <laughs> they got struck in the face. Ooh, surrounded. I'm gonna debuff you so you don't hit me for like six trillion damage. That feeling when you gel in and they still knock you down. Actually the worst. Found red ring, nice. Oh, I was wondering what hit me. I didn't even see it on my screen. I was like, it just took damage. What was that? Oh, I'm out of roof over here. There we go. Random Del Beater. Yeah, I killed him. I'll show him what up. Thank you, demons. I'm assuming this is a healing circle. Okay, let's to go to the next area. Which... Do I want to do that? Does that go to sea bed or does it go to tower? Goes to tower. Okay, so we know we didn't find it. Just double checking. Let's continue onwards. We didn't find the console we're looking for. Damn, told him to sit down. What is even hitting me right- oh, there it is. Good. Getting 
controlled. Okay, I, I am thankful some of the custom quests we've played are not like this. <laughs> it's so annoying. They don't even damage us that much. It's just like, they're just there to slow us down. Speaking of which, not that. And they're not even in an easy way we could deal with them either. It's a lot of Rico boxes. Nothing of interest up there. Hey, over here, pretty much. Like, hey, is this bothering you? Is this bothering you? Is this bothering you? Is this... <laughs> We're on a wonderful journey. There we go. Assuming this is the console. Uh, then we just leave, right? We're like, screw this. Fast chuckle nuts, something like that. Nice, then we should be good. I don't think I have to complete the quest according to what it says. So we're not gonna bother. Nice, right, so that should be a flag set on the character account. We did it before ending the quest. That's always good. One second as I prepare another soundtrack. Oh, this was also in Tales of Destiny for sure. I'm assuming we don't need to clear it, but I, I will go back to Hellcleave just to see if he went back in. Maybe we do have to clear it? I don't know. Uh, you didn't. That's all I needed to hear. Okay, so let's do some uh, TTF or something then. I guess that's all set up for the future. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't sure. I was checking. As I said before, I've never did the quest for the uh, clear. Then I'm just going to cancel the quest. Gaigui Hater. Quite a name for a Hugh cast. Or they a Sky ID. That's a good, that's a good name. I like that name. Um, hmm. What is Ghost Trick again? You are taking the role of somebody who has recently died and you possess items because you're a spirit and you use it to interact with the world as you try to uncover your murder. I believe is the synopsis of the game that is accurate. We're people playing the first couple hours. It's about a lot more than that, but I feel like that's probably about as far as I'm going to go. Um, Oak Cleave has a rock seal. I guess I just need to do... I guess this should work. Switch characters real quick. No, oh, it'll be on the DS. No, it's not like Pokemon. The closest I can think of involving ghosts is like Yokai Watch. Damn, he is so underleveled. This is gonna be interesting. I should have checked to see if he has a Glide Divine. Does he actually have a Glide Divine, question mark? Hmm, does not. I don't think I could play him then if he doesn't have it. Let me bring in... That'd be a good alternative. I mean, I guess I could just do generic hosting. At some point he needs to level, but I'm not in a rush there. We have all episode 4 if I'm gonna level him. Also, I don't think this is the right character ID either. No, it's not. 
the second thing I'm looking for. Come on. I'm gonna switch into Viridian or something. Hellcleave does want LNK Combat 38. I'm just gonna check something real quick on this character. Yeah, she didn't have any badges. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. Anyway, back to the real character. Okay, so I'm gonna host some TTF. Do levels on a switch since I'll hit 180. No worries, hopefully. I was gonna say, we're bringing in quote unquote serious character. up for people that want to do TTF. You have that. I know he has a Glide Divine. He, he's one of those characters where I'm like, all of his core equipment should be there at all points, so I never have to do character swap stuff again. But I also just want to check his inventory real quick if there's something he can give to others. Really? A puzzle adventure game? Kind of true. I mean, you're usually trying to stop something terrible from happening that involves, like, some physics. So you might possess something to knock out somebody that's holding a companion at gunpoint, for example. That's so sad he can't wield Galatine. One day, chat. <laughs> One day, Faux Newman will get the buff. <laughs> be, be at 8.28 TP. And he will ascend to godhood. Okay, so we'll wait for Tiggy. Is there anybody else that wanted to hop in for a few runs? Damn, my resists are so high. Thank you, three seals. adventure is uh, ocarina is a puzzle adventure kind of yeah we'll do a little summoning dance for tiggy speaking in the language of hellcleave i say like two bees communicating Ooh, and Parameter wants to hop in. Sure thing. There we go. We summon Tiggy. Then I die. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna warn you. My Gazan stunlock is gonna be booty. <laughs> might be your connection causing issues. Yeah, that might do it. I'm on Ethernet for the first time in ages. Oh no, you're playing on Wi-Fi for PSL? Oh, that's gross. Tiggy, no. <laughs> Don't you stream? Wi-Fi bad, Tiggy. Stomp. Yeah, protect Tiggy from himself. Yeah, I just I need to find a way to do oh nice level 90. Google search can't fix. Damn. Kind of true. 
until it gives you AI suggestions at the top. One of my least favorite things of 2024. Did you find any of these helpful? Hell no, I didn't. <laughs> like, coin, coin toss if it even answers remotely anything that I typed into the search. Try to stream, but I gotta take a break until I get consistent wire connection. Yeah. Oh, no, definitely not health advice. Holy. The minefield. I was gonna say, there's there's also Google where it does, like, if you're streaming, it tries to do the summary of what's happening in stream. Those, those are hilariously terrible. This pump I have you one day, but that's chicken beat to NyQuil, bake for 40 minutes. Yeah. It's super questionable. Uh, I got one escape doll. That should probably be fine. Yeah, I gotta figure out a better way to menu. Like, some of it is just quote unquote get good with it, but then there's other things where I feel like there's definitely something I could be doing differently to make the menuing less garbage. <laughs> you're doing the Gazant stun lock. So as long as the team... Like, I need somebody to stay behind, but technically two people can move on. I'll debuff what I can here so they die faster. Yeah, as long as exactly at least one person continues, we should be fine. We don't need all four, though. Okay, so we're gonna kill these. That is not Glide Divine. There we go. I did it. I helped. Bonk. Nope. I guess I could have confused. Or I, I could have debuffed the Talos before I left. That was a mistake on my part. Wait, where was the mining material? Oh, it was in the bottom right corner. I'm not going back for that. Do that. I was thinking it was in this room, because I didn't see it right away. I think it was just because I moved slightly too far to the door. By the time I did actually look. Shift a ranger layer there. Like here. I guess like right here. Oh come on. Is it <laughs> just come on? <laughs> right chat, that was a that was a seriously I missed it by one step. Wow. Unlucky. <laughs> I I was very close. I almost have a visual cue for where I need to stand. Apparently I need to adjust it slightly. That does save a lot of time. Well, let's do some slime dupes. I'll help whoever is here with the slime dupes. Oh, well that kills about right? Rip, no slime dupes. There we go. Nice little Zalora should clean that up. No worries, it spawns in the middle. It's okay, you can redeem yourself in the other room. Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> there we go. And I helped. Uh, 
now that they've spawned, I'm just gonna drop some magical pieces. Uh-oh. I should get rid of most of them. All but one. Close enough. Ran out of fire traps. Oof. Need more levels. Ooh, everybody but Tiggy got it. Rip Tiggy. Got my Zaboran. Got my swingy death stick. <laughs> the boss just actually straight up got carved. This is kind of messed up. Fire trap, or my before we should did everything here. Sadly, no L and K for Hellcleave, it seems. Unfortunate. Yeah, there's less incentive for me to stick around and kill these. Like, I'll still delore them, don't get me wrong, but go back. There's no badges anymore, sadly. I'm like, fine. I'll vaguely do the run correctly. <laughs> right, chat? Like, okay. Do some Zalore here to speed it up. Nice. Alright, now that I have time, I'm gonna do this. You never know, I could get a material. Also, a very awkward point for the soundtrack to cut. Since I need to move forward and then immediately we'll be in this horrible room. Soundtrack, please. I'm gonna very briefly stop moving. Let's go to Curse of Mars. soundtrack after this because it's not a very long soundtrack again i'm kind of surprised when we play some of these games they have like two hours of soundtrack so most of the time they're like 20 or 30 minutes especially nes style games oh it's too early that feeling when you did the spell but too early Oh my gosh, I actually did it. Oh, I did it, chat. Oh my gosh, I hate doing that. <laughs> I actually like it more on third monitor, to be honest, but I'll, second monitor, it's easy. I set up for like second monitor timing, but it's too early. I think you're just absolutely obliterating them. Poor boss. It tried, and it got to eat. I should probably pick up that escape doll. Troy Yami says hello. Do you recommend the game for someone that has no nostalgia for it? Um, that's a good question. I would say for the most part, it holds up. So if it even vaguely interests you, I would say to give it a shot. It's not going to be like the most intense compared to like modern games for sure. But if you're looking for something that has like a We'll say lower skill floor of entry, depending on what character you play. It could be nice to do with just, like, a group of people. I mean, like, I'll go back to this game over, like, some of the later iterations of PSO, for sure. I think they just did the formula right. Yeah, like, there's a lot to potentially learn. Some of it won't be, like, readily obvious, and there's little ways you can improve your run. But otherwise, it's uh, still fun. I don't remember what the Chaos Bringer gives, to be honest. I 
I'm assuming nothing. Give me a second. Yeah, I would say if it didn't have the quality of life features, it would have been more of like a hesitation for it. Also, I'm gonna just put a Ryuker down. Tiki's waiting. I'm gonna hold still. Hopefully, I can look up the table real quick for future reference. Just have Bringer's right arm. Yeah. Kind of whatever. I am really surprised they did not hit me there. I definitely deserved it. As long as I keep out a couple of Gafoes, it should just route wipe this area. Anything vaguely near me should just explode. There we go. That was the damage I was expecting to take. Yeah, I would say, like, for the most part. Like, Especially with add-ons. Add-ons add, like, such a quality of... It ate my diamate? Well, that was just rude. I guess I'm escape dulling. That sucks. I actually got troll. That's solid. I definitely hit diamate, but I think he stopped me from healing. Yeah, there we go. That's what normally is supposed to happen if that occurs. I got trolled. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a very different game at, like, high-level play versus, like, starting out for sure. I would say just kind of take your time with it. It's not going to be, like, the most amazing thing ever in terms of story. Since the dialogue is a bit slower paced. But in terms of action, the game is mostly holding up. I would say some of the some of the pitfalls are more to deal with, like, when you go into Ultimate, the game changes a lot of things. And some of them are fine, some of them kind of aren't. You just got to navigate that, sadly. Try finding Hellcleave. I got somebody healed. Very fast kill. Goodbye, boss. Welcome, Murphy. Hope you're doing well. Already? Yeah, that boss kind of got deleted. Sadly, no interesting drops. Well, that's good, Murphy. We can avoid those shifts. I'm gonna set up another game and then I gotta set up some soundtrack stuff. So as I said before, the pitfall with older games where we're listening to the soundtracks, very short in length. It looks like the next one's only 20 minutes. Even that an average run is about 12 to 13 with setup, like including what I'm doing here. It's not gonna last more than like a run. I'm gonna prepare some stuff. So I'm gonna move over here. Facial massage by Lita. <laughs> that was the thing that played earlier. I'll make a note that I like the Scheme soundtrack. Add some songs to that later. Oh, we're almost at Revenge of Shinobi, OST-wise. That is so sad that his ATA is like that. Oh, Newman problems.
need to get a Master Raven at some point. I still don't use it, honestly. I think you kind of come to a point where it no longer matters. <laughs> I could see maybe a super high level again. I might use it in caves or something. I thought Red Handgun was strong enough. I just used it for multiplayer until I hit the right level for Charge Raygun to kill. Swapped. Missing your mech gun. Uh oh. Fired. I'm surrounded by Hugh casts. The meta army is here. Damn, they just exploded. For real. So I just realized I don't have my three seals on, or no three seals, I don't have Ren Ring on. It's not the end of the world, I don't like need it, need it. I have wonder if it's if we're gonna do that kind of room clear. I wonder if it's faster if we just telepipe out. <laughs> I think it is. Trolling. There you go, help leave. Don't remember if I have a uh, mech gun for you or not to loan, because I'm assuming you need a vice or something. Yeah, I think my 60 hits on another character. I don't see it in here. Also, I would just loan it. Best I have are like the charge type mech guns. If you were like seriously missing mechs. Huh. I'm gonna walk over here and heal myself. Bonk. Diggy doing laps. And the Hugh cast exercise in. Quick, heal Tiggy as we enter the dragon chamber. I think we're all good now. Our journey continues. I was saying, Parameter almost out of kill range of the boss. <laughs> Just like 20 more levels, it'll be there. Let's work on our positioning. What what did I do wrong? What was the visual that I should be looking for on the floor? Is it like this little spot right here? The camera angle makes it kind of annoying to observe the floor pattern. Or is it more like over here? It could be where this big dark spot is. Let's see. So compared to the big dark spot, where is it? So I have a visual cue. So where is it relative to the visual cue? Oh, it's like right... It was really close. Okay, so now we know. It's it's not that far from the big dark spot. Knowledge attained. Ah, oh, I hope clear. the hit squads here.
welcome pun. I hope you're doing well. most of them all. Leveling... Oh. <laughs> I would make a joke about you leveling the humor mag, but I think from the standpoint of PSO, I mean, like, what level are you? Welcome, Knight Rider. Hope you're doing well. Oh, damn, I don't have invincibility. That's annoying. 99. Well, I mean, you're still kind of in the awkward, we'll say teething phase of ultimate. It takes a while if you don't have uh, proper equipment to clear. But essentially you'll be moving onwards at some point. Humor is usually more boss focused than other characters. But yeah, completing your first mag makes a big difference. You don't have like that early game power boost that rangers would by doing forest. And humor is already pretty difficult, to be honest with you. Goodbye, Sinnoh Red. 13's a good level goal to get. You'll be leveling, I think, just predominantly through TTF. It's kind of awkward to play through episode 4 by yourself. So I would just kind of rule that out for the most part. As you are. Especially early levels. With Hulk Leaf. Also, rip soundtrack. Why am I soloing them? What happened to the group? <laughs> I don't want to be in this room. Like, I'm out of here. And yeah, we'll buff Hulk Leaf in a moment. I expect I was trying to find the drive to play off event. Yeah, I mean, for me, this is just a one-off. I'm not going to play again until another event. The thing is, like, with October, it's just going to bring another event anyway, right? You can just wait. The difference is more like if you want to do something that doesn't really benefit the upcoming event, which is like TTF, RT, you know, standard boss rush. You don't really want to be doing those in Halloween. So Halloween would be like your time to like unlock items. So if you're missing, I don't know, limiters or swordsman lore, I would probably pick those up so that you could level it during the Halloween event, to be honest. Also, I didn't set up for Kazan, so this is going to be very awkward. Uh, let's see if I can very quickly fix my menu. I like to prep the Gazan menu before coming in here, but I got distracted. Um... Oh, it's like slightly too slow. I'm gonna wait for this monitor. Try again. So, I think I got it. No, I menu too quickly. I'm, I'm sorry, Chad. I got, I got very distracted by questions and I did not prep at all. Now it's a disaster. My bad. Yeah, once you're not in rhythm with it, it is very easy to mess it up. Wait, did he... Wait. Why didn't he... Why didn't he move from that monitor? What happened? He trolling. Wait, he's over there now. Wait, did he skip monitors? You know, that's why I also don't like that strategy. He skipped monitors and I couldn't see it. That really sucks. What a troll. So sometimes, chat, uh, the boss just decides not to go in order. Wow, I got killed whilst unlocking. That sucks. Sometimes the boss just decides not to go in order. There's not much I could do about that when that happens. Alright, can you, can you not skip monitors? Thank you. Yeah, so he skipped a monitor there on my screen, for sure, because he was not visible at all. I literally went to left monitor, there, then right monitor, then left, and I'm like, where the heck is he? So annoying. Ah, 
I was gonna say, I actually don't like the Fiasco quests, to be honest with you. I, I think they're some of the worst quests, to be honest with you. Four I begrudgingly do, if I want to do Limiter. I don't really like the spawns for the most part in that quest. And I definitely don't want to play Christmas Fiasco Episode 2. And even one to an extent, I just find is like a big pain. Unless you have like a super solid group. The Barans are just very annoying. I, I If I want to play one again, I've got to learn how to manipulate like seven Barans for solo play. Alright, there we go. Yeah, it's just really annoying when you get out of menu with it. That's why I want to do... I want to learn how to do it with this menu, but the problem is, is like, if the boss does any kind of weird desync jank, I don't ever get to see the radar. Which also messes me up. So if, if I don't get it first try, bad things happen. Let's leave. Let's play TS. I don't know what TS does. Shame we don't have military strikes back. I thought, wait, I thought we did. I'm confused. I, I'm more confused. Now I'm more confused by the comments. Wait, we do have military strikes back. Isn't that the name of the episode two quest with the double Gal Griffin? Oh, Twilight Sanctuary. Gross. So I'm gonna buff people during this phase. There we go. Oh, unless it's called- oh, maybe it's A New Hope, I'm sorry. I think A New Hope is the episode. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't play a lot of episode 2. I'm not- I'm not a fan. <laughs> There's a couple of quests where I'm like, I have fun with it, and some of the, uh... Uh, December Disaster quests, I think, are kind of fun, but other than that, it's like, oof. Big oof to the quest design in those places. A lot of the official quests are just actually terrible. Three gold dragons, that's funny. Part of this. Next soundtrack. Just like episode 4 in general more than the other episodes, it's just that there's some quests that give it a bad name, whereas like, I just find mechanically by itself episode 2 is very not fun to play unless you're doing challenge mode, <clears throat> excuse me, style items, which is kind of unfortunate. Speaking of unfortunate, did I just seriously die with Blind Divine equipped? Don't I have, like, 40... I do have 48 ice. That's insane. That's actually insane that that killed me. Unlucky. Yeah. Like, I like the Anniversary Tower quest, for example. I thought that was an example of a quest that's well done for a hard area. Like, you're not gonna get, like, the same reward as, like, just doing Trails Ego, of course. Or, like, other similar quests, or, like, any of the resets in Episode 4, of which there are many. There we go. But it's like, yeah, I, I do think what helps elevate it a bit more is I think all but one of the penumbral surges are actually really good. I will say that until those quests came out, there was basically nothing I would have played in episode two. Exactly in parameter. <laughs> yeah, you skipped five. Damn right you skipped five. Five was horrible. Five was like, I actually felt like I was being trolled in real time. I don't know what they were thinking with that quest. It's just really unfun. And I think the I think like the gimmicks in it are actually like what makes it very interesting. Like in particular when you're going through temple, 
and you have the concept of splitting up into two teams, and then those teams meet up periodically to, like, bully through certain rooms. I actually had a lot of fun with that, because basically you could have, like, one force, and that force would meet up about every three to four minutes in the quest with the other team without needing to do anything special. And then if you, as long as you could do that, you basically kept the buffs up the entire run, which I thought was really nice. And there's several rooms where it's not just, like, the long S-shaped hallways that are, like, kind of parallel with each other. Uh, but there's ones where you just meet up and, like, one team is on the upper platform shooting down and the other team is on the floor of that area. I thought it was kind of nice. I do think those quests were actually really good. But again, like, until those literally came out within <laughs> a year ago to two years, depending on the quest, you know, December Disaster versus those, I honestly don't think there was anything I played in Episode 2. It was just kind of a hard avoid. Like, Galdavell Darkness, or whatever it is, or M-A-E-G-V, I think, excuse me, I think was okay, but it's not something I wanted to, like, grind. And their VR quest was okay, quote-unquote, for hunts, but I'm like, I'm not really gonna get excited to play that quest either. I think the big issue with Episode 2 is just that there's a lot of, like, downtime in their quests and some of the worst episode 4 quests are like that as well but I feel like there's just more of it in episode 2 and unfortunately that also appears in any episode 2 quest with worm boss that does not immediately teleport you it makes you sit through that stupid like 13 second wait period it just kind of kills like the fun and the pacing of it to be honest that's why like even though RT is like good quote unquote I'm not usually going to run it, unless somebody's honestly looking for items. It's just kind of like, ugh, do I really want to sit on the raft ride? And then, like, just barely do anything of interest? It's like, compare, like, TTF and, like, how you there's different ways you can speed up the run. By, like, warping, or finding hidden doors, or skipping waves that you don't want to do. Like, a lot of that just doesn't exist in Episode 2. Which is kind of unfortunate. Episode 4 also has that to some extent. But I think they introduced some other gimmicks I would have liked to have seen in other areas. Like, for example, I forget what quest it is. It might be Lost Berserk Baton, where you step on the switch and it spawns an enemy wave. I actually really like that as a gimmick. Oop, chat's going back. I'm guessing a PD dropped. So it's just kind of like one of those things where a lot of them just kind of end up being walking simulators. They just aren't as good, sadly. In hindsight, I should have teleported for help leave so it doesn't have to do the wall. Definitely slower to do the wall. Oh well. I guess going forward, once I clear them, I'm just going to teleport and then have the team bring me there. Save a little bit of time. But yeah, a lot of the tower quests I just don't really find fun. I think a lot of it has to do with, like, it's kind of mandatory to have at least three people. Just due to the number of, like, really unfair insta-kill BS that's in there. Or they'll be in, like, really awkward formations that just punish you really hard for not knowing the quest. It's just incredibly unfriendly to people that are looking to hop into it. Kind of garbage in that sense. Just imagine, like, you're playing tower, and then it's like, oh, we're just gonna do a cross-formation of four lilies. Like, jo like, bye. I was slightly off. Oh, luck material. I gotta go back for that. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of like, there's a lot of requirements, and then the enemies themselves are not, like, super fun to fight either. It's, it's kind of just like, yes, I'm happy there's reasons to use challenge mode weapons, no, I'm not happy that techniques are, like, absolutely useless as a force start to finish. Oop. I'm not even sure what killed Hellcleave on my screen. It just looked like he fainted, to be honest with you. Oh, you can blow them up now. You don't have to- once you split them to four, just blow them up here. Give yourself some time.
There we go. That's really hard to have with all. Yeah, exactly. Like, again, like, it's fine that, you know, some areas are harder than others, but I feel like the way in which it's quote-unquote harder is not really in a way that really inspires me to play it. Right? It's like, oh, like, oh, you didn't know it was quadruple Ilgil? I guess you just die, right? Like, a lot of those quests just kind of do that to you. It, it just gets kind of obnoxious. Or, like... You're trying to, like, go through hallways, and then a quest like Penumbral Surge says, You know what we need in these hallways, just to piss you off? We're gonna put, like, 20 Del Beaters. We're just gonna spawn nothing but Del Beaters until you die. Essentially. There's, like, just, just, like, even the hallway fights are really annoying. Or they'll jam them full of traps. Episode 2 really loves that. Not the ones that you could just pause menu through. But like annoying like stack Rico boxes and all sorts of other BS. It's kind of unfortunate. I guess to avoid me having the wrong menu open, I guess I could just choose to learn to swap with the uh, equipment menu more consistently to keep it on his on. That would make more sense. I'm gonna try to retrain myself on how to do that. Yeah, it's just one of those things where, like, enemies just don't have any clear tech weaknesses, and everything is also really tanky. So there's just kind of a, a cutoff where, like, oh, you need demons, and you need hell, and you need this. It's not the best. So trying to get anybody that's not, like, level 200 with, like, multiple... 50 hits to clear a quest is just not happening outside of, like, maybe Temple or Spaceship. I do think they have some well-designed quests in there every now and then, like, as I said before, I think the event quest for Tower was probably one of my favorite Tower quests, just because it was just really clean start to finish, where even though, like, the Force can't really do any damage there, with Rabarda and Rafoe, they could shut down the right waves with like just like a tiny bit of knowledge. But I didn't really feel that way about a lot of the other runs that occurred. Where they're just enemies are just too far apart and I can't hit them with both Razan and Rafoe. And it just kind of feels terrible. I have to remember that it's not as soon as the screen goes red, the targeter has to- or the cursor has to be there. That's the other thing that throws me off with this, is that, like, I'll see the screen go red, but it's not targetable by Gazan, which is super annoying to get into a habit of. Now it's targetable. So it's just really easy to do that monitor too early. Like, like I have to focus on that for sure. <laughs> just I hate that. I hate that monitor set up this first player. Just cage me. I don't even care. Just kill the boss. Don't don't even bother freeing me. Just kill the boss. <laughs> just like I'm choosing not to dodge the cage. Just like it's fine. It just means the boss isn't attacking for like 20 seconds. I believe in you, chat. Take this. Oh, actually, I'm already capped. Never mind, I won't take that. Might as well as get a kill along here. Oh, HP material is back there. 
Damn. I'll come back for it. There we go. I helped. Just down to slow them up a little. Debuff, debuff. I'm gonna put down a little Ryuker for people. Oh, actually, the whole team's here. Disregard. I'm tempted to heal just to force Tiggy to uh, get some bonuses again. Oh, somebody was behind me. I was like, wait a minute. It's very annoying being a force here at Casting of OA, I'm not gonna lie. The long animation means you gotta prepare so far in advance to not die. I will buff Hell Cleave. I'll die for it. Hurt me. Oh, I don't one-shot that with normals? Really? Kinda sucks. There we go. Wait, where I wanted to be positionally? I think it should be fine. There we go, I did extra damage. I did it, champ. I am really surprised I didn't insta-kill. There we go. I don't feel like hitting it with Barda. It's too far away. There we go. Debuff some fireballs. Now that was some serious damage from the chat. Love to see it. I am still surprised that Parameter has not been one-shot by balls. On the, on the journey to survivable base health. I mean, 724 is a good start. Pro meter? Yeah, pretty much. I was gonna say, I have to learn how to not get hit by falls as, uh, random, <laughs> random attacks. I gotta learn. Yeah, let's fix my synchro. If my nature is not popping off as much as it should be. Wiped near and parameter menacingly. I will also step away for just a moment. 
I gotta put something away in the fridge. timing apparently. I'm gonna say I have to see what people's IDs are. I saw Sky ID. I'm a little sad to not be doing red ID. Need to level my phone more. There's just no physical way he could survive at the moment. Only 400 health? Like, there's there's just nothing I could do to survive. 600 at least I could in theory survive. Up until false wipes. Flipper Fire says, are we TTF grinding or aiming for something in particular? Uh, we're just doing whatever chat wants. I'm not really looking for anything in particular. I'm just gonna telepipe out of here. I'm out. <laughs> Peace out, I'm taking the telepipe. There's no point to walking. Yeah, definitely much faster to do that. Although, mono grinder. Well, welcome, Silver Fire. Hope you're doing well. I guess the goal for playing Viridian will be we check for the Heart of Item in the beginning room, and then we do Worm Boss for L and K. And then we check one kill on the sorcerer in uh, Falls' area. Since in theory it could drop a lava cannon, but it's not very likely to occur. <sighs> I don't think I positioned correctly. I'm gonna stay about here. Every time, chat. Every time. I'm off by, like, one step. So sad. Slimes are dupes, so you can fire trap in the middle. Save yourself some time. Nice kill. Nobody's killing these, apparently. Okay, well, now I'm gonna run. Time to run. They don't really net anything interesting, but we have to wait anyway, so you might as well just kill these for experience, honestly. Oh, I don't mind Zaloring to help with that. Because otherwise we're just waiting here in the same room with Tiggy. assist this process. Slimes don't really care about our bonuses, so I'm not going to bother equipping Magical Piece. Kill most of them, I think. this soundtrack as much from Muzo. I thought the earlier ones were a lot stronger. 
a little disappointed at the moment, to be honest. Wow. Not only did I not get invincibility, but I got targeted. I guess I had the most... Maybe it targets most health? I think there's a pattern to it. I just don't remember offhand. Either way, I got baited. Oh, nice. LMK combat drop. For two people. Play came with some hit percentage for the group. Don't mind me. I'm just going to go ahead and Zalore these for free kills. So we want to have Glide Divine on and keep Gazond up. Revive Murphy. Ooh. That was, a, that was a sudden kick up in song. I was not expecting that. That was a smooth transition if that was a new song. That was a new song. Wow, that was actually really smooth. Oh no, it's in the sky. Panic mode. Oh boy, leave me alone. Oh, you're going in by yourself? Oh, I, oh, this is this is not good. Oh, that is not good at all. Um, I gotta leave. All right, what I would recommend to the team if that happens again? Confuse trap for sure. Easy. Yeah, I managed to get a Zalora in there, so it wasn't too bad. Opening up that door, taking the star atomizer. Yeah, just always, always, always wait for the graphic of the red Sinnoh to appear. Like, I look for his leg to spawn, and you will never mess up the timing. Okay. Let's try to let's try to stun lock. We'll see what happens though. Murphy will probably catch me if I miss it. Doing this setup with this character. There we go. Like, if I focus, I can get it, but man, if I'm even, like, slightly off in this setup, I get so tilted. I just hate doing that setup as player one. It's like, ugh. Because it's like, I, it's, I think it might technically be possible to do the first monitor it appears on as player one, but I never go for it. Like, no, no thank you. I don't really want to blind Gazond and learn that. Might as well as get extra kills for the team. Not in a rush. Finally, I get to heal myself. <laughs> oh, somebody's gonna shoot it before I hit it. Oh well. Slightly too early on my side. Take that moon atomizer for sure. Might 
as well as fix my synchro. Get those invincibility procs more often. I know, guaranteed, I can set up for at least some Gafoli without any worries. So I might as well as. Now I probably want to move. That's a lot of free Gafoli I was just able to cast. Should save some time. Still have a decent number of. As long as we have at least two, it should kill everything. I need to one-shot these. Oh no, I got cancelled out of my healing animation. That was dumb. I should have just trimated. Rip me. Yeah, it's just annoying. The problem with the forest is like, you have to choose between fast casting and getting double hit or slow casting. And because I slow cast it, I didn't get the rest of. So annoying. Worst problems. It's otherwise like the other stance will leave you open. So there's one where he just like lunges forward and that will get you double hit more often than not. And you'll die like nearly instantly when that happens, which really sucks. Just keep the Glide Divine on for now. Okay, so my early Zalur should save a lot of time here. I'm gonna keep... I guess I could unequip Glide Divine if I want after I do it. Just that I feel like if... If I menu, it's just gonna slow me down because my menus are not crisp. I think it's better for me just to do this. If I get knocked down, there's no reason to not unequip. There we go. Just making sure we had a moon potentially for uh, Imperameter, but I think he escaped all. not too much of interest. Yeah, I definitely feel the uh, drop rate decrease. <laughs> it's like, man, just nothing is dropping. The fact we only had like eight items pop up on that reader says everything. Meanwhile, we did that in the other event. We get like 40 million materials. Oh well. to do a few more TTFs, but probably no more than four. We could do an RT or something. I do need to actually level my rocket seals at some point. But I don't think today will be that day. Kinda missed a huge XP buff, yeah.
I kind of clear these quickly. I'm not walking. I was gonna say I'm just gonna I'm gonna wait for the team. Funny enough, I can still grant the boss from here. Just poke at it. Damn. I'm so close every time, chat. It kills me. Every time I think I've corrected it, nope. Get wrecked. At some point, I'm just going to take a literal screenshot of where I have to be to touch the map and just line it up. Oh, nobody's staying behind for this room. Rip. No PDs for the room. I'm going to kill this group of lilies if they're free strapped at least. Gives the team more experience and maybe PD chances. As I said before, we're gonna be waiting anyway, so I'm not in a rush in this area. So I'd rather just kill the lilies every single time. not getting invincibility. Game's hating on Tiggy. One day I'll train myself to use the right button there. Actually, I don't think it would Magical Piece. Honestly, I might just put Magical Piece away in this run. I think I actually just don't want it for menuing purposes. It is actually messing me up, because I'm trying to go between Glide Divine and that. Like, Magical Piece in theory would help me uh, with the spinners, but it's it doesn't make me pass the threshold, since I'm not using uh, Bowie Merge. So if I'm, if I'm not planning to- oh, oops. If I'm not planning to use Gafoe Merge, then uh, I guess there's no point in Magical Piece thing. Because most of the time I'm just going to be using this, regardless. Also rip my synchro. We get some souls. Yeah, they're just like slightly too tanky. See if I had Psycho Wand, I would definitely just kill these guys. Do that real quick and kill them. I think actually I will just unequip the magical piece. Or I'm gonna keep doing TTF runs with this character. It has a purpose, I just don't like how it messes up my other menus. Oh, Bazooka deployed, we're good.
Melee Ranger. Ranger Force is more useful in a TTF run. I'm not sure I understand what that means. Too early. That feeling when you have a stun lock, but... We'll call it Boss Jang. Close. Huh? What? It's not even visible for me. What kind of nonsense is this? Stupid boss. Oh, melee force. See, I'm, I thought <laughs> when you said melee ranger, I thought literally like Ramar, and I was like, what? Brain did not process. I mean, if I really want to, I could swap which force does this. I'm more doing it for the LNK at the moment. I prefer not to stun lock with my phone new world, even though that is red ID. I think I just also got confused because you said that at like the only time in the entire run techs are better than melee or range weapons, which also threw me through a loop because I'm like, wait a minute, you always get unlock. I don't understand. That's what you're supposed to do. It was just like all question marks. But yeah, if you're talking about like pieces like this, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm not going to be using like Bringer's Rifle or anything on this character compared to like Fomar. If anything, I should bring in a Club of Laconium. It is what it is. Yeah, like here I don't care if my fireball kills in two or one. It's, it doesn't speed up this at all. And then by the time my invincibility wears off, I'm just going to stick to Rafoe. Although if I see an opportunity, I will Rafoe like this. These are really trolley spinners. What the? Not used to them being that close to me. Bonk. Okay. Switch over to Glide Divine now. Aw. Oh. I mistimed that. I was trying to get bonks so that I could, uh, Recast shifter, but whatever. I got some time. Need to hit the other two characters. Little debuff going. There we go. We resolve that issue. As, I, as long as I Zalore, it's all good. How I view it. Zalore first, then worry about catch-up buffs. Yeah, like, here's where I would, in theory, switch over to Pueblo Iconium. But honestly, when you have this many power characters, I don't even know if it matters. Yeah, I don't think it matters. If I was playing with lower level players, I absolutely would. But the gear from all the characters, I'm not really worried.
Yeah, we'll be doing a few runs. Let's sing in three more. Another gun year with no abilities. Damn. Oh well. You know, that was a pretty fast run. That was sub 11 minutes. No complaints about that one for sure. Mag Synchro, I will repair you slowly. Hmm. Do I want to change what ID we're doing it on? It's, I want red ID, but I don't have a good red ID character. Playing as the faux neural there is miserable. Fomar is red. I mean, if you don't mind hosting it, I'll bring damage then. I gotta put something away. Him, please. Him, please. I'm gonna put this away. No worries, Murphy. question is, do I bring somebody into level, or do I just curb stomp the boss? <laughs> just, those are the open questions. There's only like three characters I'm thinking of using. Mm. Like, my... Why not both? I mean, I only really have my Hugh cast that curb stomps. Hugh Castile's not bad, she's red ID. I'd potentially have just somebody else as a force for the run. Oh, no, not the humor. We're, we're especially not playing him if it's not XP. Honestly, Hugh cast, I feel like the reward is there. If I'm gonna be real honest with you, Healthy Eve, Having done the struggle with some of these characters, Humar and Hugh Castile. Hugh Castile is actually not too bad. For some reason, I thought you said Hugh New World there. I didn't think Hugh New World was worth it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I, I gave up on my Humar. This character makes the run so free. Eventually, I'll level my red phone man. Damn, his items are disgusting. Yeah, if it wasn't Rare Enemy, I think I would have kept it there, but I'm like, I kind of want other items to get at some point. The Hellcleave's coming in. There we go. <laughs> the Delete Army is here. Yeah, I'm, I'm dual-wielding Centurion abilities. That's how you know I don't care. All Sky Hugh cast, damn right. Listen, those Skyweaves are gonna get deleted. You cast represent. Also, since I'm probably not going for the stun lock, I'm gonna put my red one there. I 
was gonna say, don't worry, Helkel. If you need help leveling your hunters, we can do some cookie stuff later. <laughs> if you want. Oh yeah, speaking of which, we never did cookies. So if, the, if the group here does want to do cookies, just let me know. I still want to get a few more TTF out of the way. It just changes what we do afterwards. Okay, I don't need the red handgun on me, physically. I don't need S-Red Blades in my inventory. K for Tiki Pose. Ah, uh, the Neil. I wasn't sure what you meant at first. The chat said. That's from our old 163 or something, 03 at 120. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I can always host as a blue ID. Even if that character is like a. technically the Rock Seal. This character is unfair. I just need to do what Hellcleave does and hunt more vices in the future. Or just get lucky during Christmas event, I guess. Wow, he actually just one buttons them for real? What a character. Here, um. Sadly, nothing worth killing here. Actually disgusting amounts of damage. Nice level up. Still ended up being quite a lot of fun. She's good at different runs compared to the U cast. So like until I have like truly heinously disgusting like 70, 80 hit items. I feel like she's pretty good at uh anything that requires hell in a run. But also still maybe some ATP. I definitely don't mind doing her in a lot of episode 2 areas. I just don't think I like her in, like, tower. That's why I do think things like Red ID are actually not bad for her. Because I do like some episode 4 reset stuff with her. I definitely think the Hucast is a little stronger in some of those areas. But whenever you're just trying to land things like Paralyze on Dwarfons or whatever... I think she definitely way outshines him for solo play for that. Or like mixed levels as you level. Oh. Don't mind me. Guess I'll clean up the room. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, I'm the only one here. I should probably kill them. Reset this. Definitely freeze trapping this room. Die. Two thousand crit, jeez. Gross. Oh. Um. One second. Was there something I wanted in Red ID Caves other than Lavas? Oh, Sanke from the Pan Arms. I was thinking there was something else, but now nah, I don't feel like killing him. I could kill the Melkweeks for greed for a uh, Red Sword, but nah. Checking my items. I was like, there's something in that room that I do sometimes kill. Yeah, I don't feel like getting Sange. 
Okay, I got my delete button. Goodbye. And deleted. As well as regen HP. Put me out of Sinnoh kill range. Forty hit arms, no special. Damn. It even had machine, so it would have actually been decent for this area. That's usually where you want to do your spread shots a lot. Native is whatever. The dream will be like a 50, 50 dark, sixty machine, fifty five plus it. I'm gonna wait here. Regen some HP. Should put me out of kill range now. I see his graphic load. I walk away. I hit the delete button. I think I'm gonna confuse trap these enemies. That should be good. Yeah, because sometimes they get pulled to the door like that. But as long as you confuse trap, you don't have anything to worry about. You don't have to wait for B team. It's fine. Just I, I, I know how to I have taught myself how to escape that room. And I'm so proud of that. You have no idea, chat. The fact that I could just go in and out of that room with no worries. Like, what a relief. I'm so tired of dealing with that room. I guess we'll call that, like, emergent game strategies. Since we no longer do the sit -o room, I decided to learn how to get out of that room easy. So I've just decided that, um... Uh, Infused Trap and them meleeing, resetting, and retargeting is super huge. So they're actually easier to Confuse Trap than other enemies, just because of the fact that they will catch you and try to swing and then reset targets. Where, like, the stupid Boomas or whatever are too slow to really catch you uh, consistently. And then I think from there it shouldn't be too bad. I'm gonna slow it down with some Twin Blades to make life easy. Twin Blades also does like a million damage to this boss. There we go. <laughs> Twin Blades bros. There we go. Alright, it's time to lose all my HP to this good brave man. I mean, there's, there's nothing he can really do against Double Twin Blaze. I, I might as well just brute force it after a point. I'll try not to hit it early. Like, I slowed it down on one shot on my screen, but I probably shouldn't have done that. Let's see if we can throw a disc and pop a box. Nice, I did. Ooh, photon drop. First actual reward of the night. I will go and pick up those my materials, I guess. Although, honestly, I'm at the point where I only have one more phone Newman to me. Um... Red ID gets some pretty good things, if I remember, from these enemies. Let me double check. Yeah, Disco Bra Brave Man from Arlen's. I'm actually gonna kill this room. Just to kill the Arlen's. They go low. Yeah, it is Arlen's that spawn in here. Right. I'm just gonna delete the Wajaya, don't mind me. Here, um. Alright, so that's four Disco Brave Man chances. See, that's a greedy clear, but I'll go for it. I don't think Red ID gets anything interesting from the other enemies. Yeah, these guys are 100% worth killing. Look at me, faded. Oh, I'm so dead. Yeah, rip. <sighs> Damn. I got tagged. How unfortunate. Yeah. 
I was gonna say, next time we do it, definitely ki please kill the Arlens. Ooh, rewarded. Yeah, I think what'll happen... Okay, so I think... I'll, I'll ignore the final four. I think they're a little too slow. So I think what we could do is it's spread needle from the Chaos Bringer. Does Chat mind humoring me on the Chaos Bringer real quick? I do want one more spread needle. Put down a freeze trap here. This. There we go. I am really surprised that hit him out of the charge, but I'll take it. Rip, no spread needle. See, that one's very greedy. I think we could do the Arlens as we go through. So I think if we were to try to squeeze out every little drop of red ID goodness, I think what'll happen is that the Force, and probably me, will stay behind in the first room to kill the Claws. Then one person does the, the room as normal, and another person can do whatever they want, because we're probably going to like near full clear to go to the Sorcerer anyway, so it doesn't really matter if we do the Sorcerer or not, to be honest. Because I think then we'll end up getting, I think, 20 chances of Disco Brave Man, which is not too bad. Also, I'm gonna swap weapons, I got distracted. I guess it's debatable. I guess with Chaos Springer and Rare Enemy, it's not super worth going all the way there. When the event was up, it definitely made sense to just go for Spread Needle there, because it's just three extra chances. Like 50 50 on it. Yeah, I think we could definitely kill the Arlens almost for free. But it just requires a different positioning. Getting tagged. I don't think the Red Sword Milk Weeks are super worth it. Arlen should be pretty easy to do as you play. Easy crashed, oof. Damn, and he was like right there on the boss too. Unfortunate. I'm gonna stand still and regen. Thank you, cutscene health regen. It might actually matter. It will be very sad if Imperimeter gets Red Ring, despite being disconnected. Ooh, damn, that was fast. That would also be funny if this levels you. Level while disconnected, the true meta. That was a fast kill. Let's see, pop some of these. Hmm. Nothing too crazy else dropped. I did get two extra PDs out of it though, so I definitely finally got rewarded for doing TTF. Squeezing out some extra kills for maybe PDs. I guess I could still do my uh, event strat kills, as long as I don't slow the group down too much. I think as long as the force stays with me on the first ruins room, it's kind of worth. The claws are like really easy to kill with Resond. Really lose a few seconds to get eight more PD chances. It's not too bad. I also keep forgetting the mouse is visible on the screen, and then I look over at the stream and I'm like, oops. ESO loves showing my mouse.
I'm surprised the soundtrack is still going. An hour and 20 minute soundtrack. Kinda rare. Wait for the next game to come up. That would have made the most depressing clip. Oh, absolutely. Oh no, Booma will attack. Anything but Booma. Is there anybody that would like to hop in and take a parameter's place? Ooh, synchronized arm wagging. Look at the chat. The timer is real. Do you need to hold like a galatine or something? I could just give you a galatine if you need it. The for the runs. Oh okay. Hmm. I can loan one to you. We'll give chat a little bit of a uh, opportunity to uh, join. Otherwise, we'll continue as a three-man. Yeah, I don't use Galatine versus this boss, so I don't need my uh, X cal. There you go. Enjoy the hit percentage. The Fomar Dream ATA. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, it, it it's a very significant amount of accuracy. I figured that would probably speed up the run. Okay, I guess we can get started. Doesn't look like anybody's joining. Oh, sure, that's fine. Fire says, would join, but still working on getting into ultimate. Hmm. What level are you, Silverfire? If you need some help leveling, let us know. We were talking about potentially some cookie quests today. Welcome back. That's assuming you want to get power leveled, of course. Seventy-seven currently, but got back into it this year. Nice, nice. Yeah, just let us know. I think after this run, you know, potentially we'll do some cookies. I'm assuming Hell Cleave wants to level a blue ID character. I think we're good, Murphy. You could go. But anyway, if you did want assistance, Silver, let us know. I can probably host as a blue ID character and get some silly items. Hmm. I was so scared of picking up that weapon, you have no idea, chat. Like, I actually just physically stopped comboing when I saw it standing on a weapon. I'm like, don't you dare pick that up, it's such a waste of time. Um, I forget, does Red get anything else special now that the changes are in? I think they do, right? We talked about this last time and I forgot already. Heart of Twin Chakram, oh, Heart of Twin Chakram's on the Golgis skis. Yeah, I guess if I really want to get Tallow Red Sabers, I could kill it. Yeah. 
Yeah, they get just like a tiny bit more value in TTF. Just in quests in general. So at least... <laughs> I, I like that the Heart of Item went on the Urtista Stone run, so that way people would feel... That's, at least someone will go and do runs for that Red ID Stone. I find kind of funny. They're like, please get them for the- get them for the group. Someone run Red ID Forest, I beg of you. Yeah, in TTF it matters a little less. I mean, like, three chances of Frozen Shooter is, like, good, don't get me wrong, but... I think Red ID just overall has more items and more chances. As long as you're willing to play with like a, a few extra kills, I feel like you get rewarded. If you're only talking about what you kill on the way, then I would say like, yeah, probably not as high. If you're willing to spend those extra seconds, I think it matters a lot. Red ID, for example, gets like the uh, Lavis Cannon dupes. Optionally, you could get Red Sword as you play, depending on your power level. Spread Needle. Several Disco Brave Mans, which is still used. So honestly, getting Disco Brave Man might be a little better than Frosty Shooter, given how many more chances there are. Oh, Evade Material. Boo. So I'll still choose to kill every enemy as we go through. One, two, three. Here, Mr. Slime. Become duped and perish. Oh, was I standing too close to the box? That sucks. Here, um... <laughs> I'm like, look at me, I'm a weed whacker. Oh, this room could go really bad for me. You get a witch. The uh, middle one died of all things, but unfortunate. I guess I can go for Dragon Kill here. So what'll happen if you're looking to kill Dragon for items there, by the way, if you put a Freeze Trap in the middle and just target one of them, the other should automatically freeze. Save a whole bunch of time. Murphy Dupin, nice. Murphy's dupes out a little bit. One, two, three. This should cause them to max dupe. And I'm just gonna go kill them all. They're at max dupe. Time to kill. So we know the spawn points are roughly where those little boxes are on the floor. By the time I do this, they should all die. Nice. <clears throat> just more chances of PDs. So my synchro is trash. I should probably fix my mag. Oof. Not rewarded. <laughs> Not rewarded. I really gotta fix that synchro. Damn. I made time. Oh, wait, this should be big damage. Alright, that went pretty quick. I'm sure Murphy's happy to have a percentage on that Excal. It definitely makes Faux Newman life easy. I think even Faux Newman can normal heavy special it, but I'm not sure about uh, Omar. 86%, that's pretty good. I think in single player, you'd have like basically 100%, which is kind of silly. This enemy is so dead. You're getting combo killed. Get out of here. How did that not kill? I'm going for greedy kills. That was that was a greedy kill. I unfortunately knocked down on an early shot, which is unfortunate. Ooh, they're frozen? I did not mean to telefight there. I forgot that was one of my buttons, to be honest with you. Let's go forward. Back to appear. Back to appear. She just die. Uh, 
I'm gonna lure them in a happy little circle. There's not really much they could do to me. I'm not really worried about them at all. Because the problem with freeze is that happens. That's why I don't like freeze. Because if they're already in the doorway, they just clog the doorway. Come on. Poor Varans. Um. Oh, my mag actually went off. Nice. I guess if it gets to this monitor, I'll twin blaze, otherwise I'm not gonna bother. I'm here as the safety catch. There we go. The music swap on the boss appearance, nice. Are you using heal? Oh, you're so dead. Get berserked, idiot. My material, nice. Uh, so let's let's clear the first room. We'll let Hulk leave do the normal clear, and we'll uh, just murder everything. Uh, that okay. That freeze trap sped that up significantly. Oh, I got bonked. Hate that. Rip. My bad. More healed help, please. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was just gonna let them bonk each other. I probably should have mentioned Hulkley if I was doing that. Got one at least, nice. Yeah, so I'm just gonna clean these up. Oh, the sorcerer is still here? That's funny. Right, let me go assist Murphy with the corner. I'm surprised I blocked that, but we'll take it. Ooh, Discard Brave Man. Oh, uh, no hit percentage though, I think. That sucks. Oh well. Yeah, I think I draw with no hit percentage. Damn. A 30 mark, 30 machine, 30 hit wouldn't have been the worst thing ever, to be honest. The 20 was just one position off. Yeah. I'm on, the, I'm on the fence whether I want to bother with Chaos Bringer here. We should at least kill the Sorcerer. Like, if I'm here, I'm just gonna kill them. Yeah, the Vice at least just kind of instant leads them. Yeah, I got... I'm gonna- I'm gonna feel my way through that first room. I definitely think Hulkley freeze trapping I think shows that I should be freeze trapping the claws a little more. Is that a monolith? Even if I'm the second or third person. Indeed it's a monolith. I think there's some things I can clean up, because usually I don't go for claw clears on hunters. There's like things I don't think about ever. <laughs> Just don't want to do it as a hunter. I'm like, I'll do it as a ranger or a force, but Hugh cast is awkward. Wow, I seriously got invincibility. I am very surprised by that. Also ripped my synchro from earlier, by the way.
a little far away, but I'm not in the worst possible position. I'm gonna hold forward. I got a weapon swap anyway. There we go. Clean it up. I should be able to hit it with L and K here for a thousand or so, hopefully. Okay. 2,000. That wasn't too bad. Rip Ravine. So it's like at least I'm I'm chunking the boss every time it pops up. That's all I could really ask for. Ooh, team does end up ups. Okay, I was gonna say I'm not gonna shoot. I saw as soon as it did it, I'm like, oh, oh no more touching. There we go, we got shipped in. I almost killed it by accident with crits. Almost. Damn, who cast is strong. Wait, just two who cast does almost 10,000. It's actually insane. That did so much damage. Aw, oh, short cycle. Boo. The tease. Don't link this. <laughs> now my face falls. I'm a guess indeed. He's gonna say me and Hellcleave disapproving of the fight. We're just like, mm-mm. Get out of here, falls. I got excited because I saw something drop and then I realized it was my Disco Brave Man. I trolled myself, chat. Yeah. You know what? I'm not sure how it skipped a box there with my Gatling shot, but that's fine. I guess that works. Uh, let's see if I can fix this thing synchro. Gotta buy some items for it. It would be nice if invincibility triggered more consistently. See, we have hit the sound effects portion of the soundtrack. We're gonna go ahead and just ignore that. Let's go to Boscovian. We were on, what was that called? Algarna. Oh no, no, Boscovian's not next. Revenge of the Shinobi, which we did listen to before. But we'll listen to it again. One more TTF? Yeah, I'm thinking so. And if anybody wants to level, it should be good. Yeah, I think it said four. I think this was a third. Assuming it's just the three of us, this will be final call. We'll give it a few seconds. We're moving on. Sort our inventory out a little as we wait. Okay. I think that's decent enough as a wait. We'll get started.
The damage is actually insane. So satisfying to do. I don't have to kill them, but it felt satisfying to do. After this, I guess if there's anybody looking to level very hard mode characters, let me know. Give Hellcleave the little Phonuman buffs. And then I'm thinking, uh, I could take that opportunity to level with my own Phonumans while still being a damage carry. I want to level that red ID Phonum in a bit more so he's at least at 600 health. Make it a bit more doable. Ooh, Photon Drop from a box. I got rewarded. Okay, I was gonna say, you know what? PDs were actually pretty much on point for me. It, f it almost feels like event level PDs at the moment. Slime does not appear for me right away. Now, my screen is over here. I have no idea where he is for the chat. A little freeze trap, walk until we're on this. Ooh, I was a little slow in the freeze trap there. That's unfortunate. go for the single player clear strat so if I put a free strap here and then focus the other side I just kill this one so that was the strategy I wanted to show off earlier where like I don't have to shoot the trap it'll just automatically detonate roughly on time I'm gonna do some slime duping come on lava's cannon last chance for it one, two, three, slime duping time. Oh well, I'm to just kill them. Maybe this will be PDs for the group. Yeah, pan arms technically can give Sange for people that are looking for Sange Yasha. If you, if you just really want to solo single player greed, you could do it. it. They take forever to spawn, so like it doesn't really make sense to wait for them. Like, if, if Hellcleave teleports here, it's just like, even walking here, the Melkweeks just like barely spawned. It just doesn't make sense to do them most of the time, sadly. Damn, no invincibility again. Chills, I gotta fix my synchro. Damn, Jaya, too good. I love that Jaya is so strong that if we're we're clearing basically on pace with like a four-man group just because we use Jaya. I don't even have like a super broken one. Like, it, yes, it has a lot of hit percentage, but it doesn't have any machine. So like somebody with like 30 hit, because as opposed to my 45, will do more damage than me if they have machine percent. Oh, that enemy to get out of there. material. Really? I gotta go back for that. 
I, I do need it. Like, I, I am going to make you cast. I know I'm going to need, like, literally hundreds. Jerk, that's for making me come back here. On the off chance I get a PD while walking away, I might as well as Confused Trap. I got one extra kill. Yeah, I'm pretty far behind, sadly. Fortunately, though, I always have Confused Traps to help me. They're just getting actually deleted in here. Nice and simple. Yeah, so I think when we're in ruins, I guess if we all help each other with claws, only one person really needs to stay for the Arlens. Maybe that's the strategy? Like, Force does like two Razans, then leaves. Elcleave will probably set up for the kill on Chaos Bringer, and the Freeze Trap already helps. Maybe that's the strat? Well, I'm in like the wrong spot to assist. Put out safety kafoes. Almost dead. Repel clean. Man, it's so stupid on this boss. It just every time it's just like it's like oh we're only three people and then it's like brr brr dead. Also got photon dropped again. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of on fire tonight with photon drops given how few things we kill this quest. Okay, we'll do our best to freeze. Oh, they're like super glitched out. I'll deal with the Arlins. Team can move on. It'll be fun. Mostly just want to make sure these guys die. That's all I want. Get a nice group here. And I could just avoid the Indie Bell Rose. I guess I could go up top, it doesn't really matter. Plus, I gotta come over here anyway. Cleave. Come and help, Cleave. I shot it in its back. We're all good. See, if, I, if this thing had, like, hyper accuracy, heavy attacking, it'd be so broken. I totally get why Hellcleave wants a high hit LNK. Just one button kill every enemy in the game. Doesn't even need percentages. Just actually dumb. Definitely like the fireball strat that was being used there. Damn, no spread needles. Oh well. We tried. Yeah, during rare item up, I definitely feel like 
but ID still gets really good ch chances of getting items here. So we got like, I think a handful of Disco Raymans, I think between us. That's not like the worst way to get it while also leveling. Cause having upwards of, cause it's like what, four and eight, 16 chances of it, it's not bad. And then four chances of spread needle. It's not the greatest, but when you have when you have Hugh Cast, it goes really quickly. I would not normally do that if we were not playing Hugh Cast. If it was like Ramar, Ramarl, and like no forces, I'd be like, hell no, I'm not doing that. But Hugh Cast, I'm like, hell yeah. It's like two buttons to delete them. Doesn't matter. I deserve to get hit there. I'm surprised I didn't. We'll take it though. So yeah, I think we just lose like a few seconds doing the initial clear. It's not too bad. Nice. I was seriously out of range for that. That sucks. Like one step too far. I was like, no way is this boss going to get the laser attack off, right? Is it 33? Like, cut me a break. See, this is why we need 15 more ACP chat. That right there wouldn't have happened. Between 12 shots, we, we would have had it. Just need to do 15 more damage tw uh, across 12 shots. I think that's fine. And that damage is still busted. Yeah, we're still going to have her vice in case it comes close to us, but we'll see what happens. Got kind of unlucky there, I'm not gonna lie. Speaking of unlucky, auto win, please. Ha! <laughs> Dead already? Dead already, indeed. Yeah, I definitely whiffed all those mech shots. It just did not snap to her for some reason. My hand went right through her face, did not matter. Mech guns are silly sometimes. Hurt, hurt falls psychologically. I think I did. Hurt myself too. I was like, geez. Missing the LNK by being like one step out of range was brutal. Normally it's pretty good with the range. I'll take the Excalibur back from Murphy. Put away all these PDs. We didn't end up spearing today. We unlocked spearing. I still have to think about what I want to do with it long term. I didn't play I didn't end up playing a ranger, so the odds of me showing it off were kinda low. Something for me to think about, I guess. Next time I play Ranger, we'll do it. Yeah, unlocking it is important for sure. Challenge mode unlocking that definitely saves some time later. Need anything else. Probably fix my mag. Ooh, it's at 23%. I think that's a threshold that actually matters. I think like every 20 it checks. Okay. So I'm assuming we're just going to help Hellcleave for a little bit. So if Hellcleave is blue ID, I could just join as any other character. Oh, we got a Srank. Nice, I got my escape doll back. To take a short break for food, no problem. I was gonna say, is there anybody that wants to hop in for some very hard mode leveling with cookies? Oh, you only have white green left? I can host this blue ID, it's not a big deal. This character almost hit 180, doing almost 
almost purely very hard. I'm not going to say they didn't do ultimate a couple times. But yeah, at least 90% of their life has been in very hard mode. I feel like that's not an exaggeration. I'm going to host episode 4, give people a chance to join. And after that, I'll probably get some rest. I'm still feeling pretty tired. Also, this character has badges. Let's go put those away. See, we slowly but surely have to put all of the what I had overflow into the share bank. So we have a hilarious amount of items for later. Also, I probably should have taken the power in my materials onto another character so I can put these away. Let's see, we're sitting on six photon hordes and almost 80 photon drops. We have five photon spheres. Pretty good. We're gonna give help. We have quite a few PDs later for some bags. Ooh, level 40. Interesting, interesting. I was gonna say, is there anybody out there that wants some quick levels? Say now would be the time. Yeah. If there's not four people, we can always level you other ways. Sort our inventory. Run in circles. Speaking of which, while we wait for people, I want to see if, uh, where my other V502 is. I think I know where two of them are. There's one that I don't actually know who has it. Let's find out who has my B502. The Ramar has it. Yeah, maybe that's. Tankus definitely had one of them for sure. Oh, it's my pink rock seal that has the other one. That would explain some things. I was like, somebody else has my handgun. Who who has it? That makes more sense. Oh, random power materials. I'll take those, I guess. Rip. <laughs> Put them away. I was gonna say, when it gets closer to Halloween time, I will probably be doing blue ID runs on hard mode, unlocking stuff. I guess the question is, with just two people, what would make sense to do? Would we do Massive Attack B? Do you want to do uh, b -b 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 the A to Win quest? It is rare monster week. I'm assuming that means maximum attack. Huh. So just let us know, people, if you're looking to level. I'm just gonna help help you for a little bit. We'll go for like two or three runs, then I'm gonna go get some sleep. I'm still on the fence whether I'll be streaming tomorrow, honestly. I've been feeling very burned out from work. Plus also lots of PSO. So TBD tomorrow. I'd be more inclined to do an evening stream, I think, than a morning stream. I think I might just sleep in, to be honest. 
I already feel like I haven't had any rest. Just been one of those weeks, sadly. Just pause. Getting trolled. Like, they get me right as I'm in the middle of chaining. Oh, that was the whole. S really? That's the final song on the soundtrack? That's so awkward. Anyway, next soundtrack. Also, I have to look up another soundtrack, sadly, because this one is just so short. It's only 20 minutes. This one will hopefully be a little longer. Oak leaf going in. Gaia clock. Soundtrack is Bosconi. Bosconian? Bosconian. Not expecting vocal clips. Stuff like that is fine. If it's just like one line, it doesn't really matter. It's more when they repeatedly speak, it's more likely to be copyright. Just how it is. Although, sadly, one of the uh, Doom songs was copyrighted, we listened to the other day. Like, right at the tail end. That was a bit unfortunate. I'll be right too strong. Goodbye, satellite lizard. more important I one-shot these, yeah. Okay, is the Dwarfon going to not hit me this time, or is he gonna strike me? Uh, this time I was in the proper position. That's fine if he stomps me like that. That I don't care about. But just more when he, like, knocks me over. It's very annoying. As long as he doesn't do that, we're good. I didn't take my raw foe stuff. Unfortunate. I'll keep that in mind. But it will be a little slower. Yeah, this why I also need to get this character raw foe merge for sure. I was gonna say, how cleave finding more on very hard mode than ultimate. The compilation. Game is mean. To hit King Launcher, oh man. Game's trolling for real. Also, that one Zoo's trolling. This should significantly damage the Dwarf on. 
Yeah. As long as I refoe this, it shouldn't be too bad. The Dorfon is ultra dead. GG. I don't think so, Zoo. Try fluid. That is. Thank you for the power materials. Rip Hopefully, he died for the trap. Hopefully he's already at 42. Love to see it. Goodbye, Raffians. Hey, what kind of mag is Hopefully using? Is that just basic mag? Is that one of those kitted mags? I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> what am I looking at? It looks like Kalki. I was gonna say, or something like that, yeah. I was gonna say, Hel Cleave actually trolling. He's like, yeah, I'm just using a uh, 5 power mag. For oh, it's for Runa. Makes sense. Look how happy it is. It's bouncing up and down. Mmm, yeah, I remember doing some research on them. I didn't like them over Nidra, because Nidra, Nidra kind of godlike, not gonna lie. Invincibility plus kind of OP. But uh, I do like Talesius for non-boss uh, mags. <laughs> yeah, it's a mind mag, it's true. It's like, I'm actually, I'll just put my Rappy mag on, on uh, Hugh Ooh, music's picking up a bit, okay. When in doubt, it's always the one that's over here. I'm not even gonna question it. Wait, are you serious? There's a 40 a 45 hit arms dropped on very hard mode. Are you kidding me right now? Why? Where is it? Hold on, I'm I'm picking it up so Hellcleave can witness. What is this? What is this Hellcleave? Could you imagine if that had charge? Stupid. Wow. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Play ultimate, do tower, don't get any items with hit. Play very hard mode, get like, actually good items. The worst part, too, is it's an arms. Like, we could potentially get not arms as an item, because we're in very hard mode. But the fact that it's, like, also the relevant weapon type still is kind of funny. And also horrible. Mostly horrible. Oh, that's annoying. I was, like, one step too close. That's what caused that to happen. What a shame. I probably want that tri fluid to be honest. in hell with high hit could be good enough. 
Plus Calibre is still a thing. True. It doesn't have to necessarily have the potential to hit, like, 100. That would be the dream. But in theory, we could still get, like, 65 to 75 hit Calibers. Just depends on the tier. I know, for example, we could still get 50 hit plus. Pretty much, no matter where we are in very hard mode that we level. But I forget the exact breakdown. I mean, it, we are playing at least underground in Episode 4, so the odds of finding a good item are pretty high. Because the way I see it is when you go underground, it'll be like a couple steps above doing forest on ultimate. Depending on which area you're doing. But like, you could actually get legitimate drops. I can't believe that worked. Trolling me. Get out of here, Zoo. Bonk. Rifoe's stun lock is real. Oh, look, they tried die bombing me. How unfortunate for them. They're already in the stun lock. Congratulations to Hitsu. This all hits you briefly. You're in block two doing something. that I'm like unironically really close to leveling with this character and hitting an actual important level. What a character. Only 47,000 more to go. Keep up him for health leave. Path into death. Oh, he went backwards? That sucks. I what causes that sometimes, them to go backwards versus another direction. Did you laser me while in the wall? That is so rude. That is the height of rudeness, chat. Get them out of here, help leave levels, nice. Some star atomizers I might use in a little bit. Yeah, I could just kind of refer it of Rapoi. Excuse me. I can Rapoi, excuse me, is what I meant to say. The Gerda Bulo to Stunlock of the Marissa, which I find funny. Use a couple of these. Uh, nothing of interest there. to hear about these. Repel, please. Run, help, please. Run. Yeah, these guys should just be ultra dead. I think if always stack in this room is real. Thank you, Kufoe Stacks. Yeah, chip out every enemy. Tell them what's up. Don't care what they do. Detonator. 
these uh Yeah, next quest will level me up. Give Hell Cleave a little bit of a head start here. So if there's anybody else that wants some very hard mode leveling, let me know. I probably won't be doing another TTF or anything after this. This will be one of our final runs. Also, that's really unfortunate that I can't use Resond because I physically don't have enough TP. But, because I have Adept, I technically can use it without using 40 TP. Slight oversight, I guess, in how they did it. This might be... One of... Oops, wrong difficulty. This might be one of my last runs. There we go. Oh, Aria has joined us. Welcome. I'm gonna maybe guess this is Silver Fire. I was gonna say, if we do get a fourth person, I will do a cookie quest. Just FYI. Is I been a bit since I played with others? No worries, Silver. I think since Silver is a new player, I would like to get some cookie quests in, but I only do them when we have four people. That leads to some very silly experience. Uh, I should probably go grab my Rippo Emerge. We'll give chat, I guess, some time to join. Four people equals cookie quests, otherwise we do maximum attack. I love that I pretty much know for a fact that Health Leave is competitive with my ATP already. I'm like 810 with my weapon equip. Very silly stuff. Huh. Oh, the bear can. Haven't seen that in a while. Come over and use the console. We could get started. A52, damn. There we go. We're just gonna do some basic Gafoe stack in here, because Gafoe OP. You'll see the power of the Gafoe stacks by watching the Rappies fall and die instantly. And that's unfair. I was like, go ahead, let them melee me. I don't care. <laughs> we'll let Hellcleave kill the things that are not uh, easily killed with that. Do a couple lightnings here, I guess. 
after all. Pick up an Asuka. Cool pulse tricks to get through here. Yeah, you're gonna see me in the technique menu a lot. I just want to get frame perfect ones without menuing my brains out. Really fast clears. Here on. Zon. Still gonna get Zon because I don't like the Babudas. Let me go back to Fireball. Bonk. Definitely ice on Ascarx. Gotta tell him to chill. Chill out, giant murder machines. Always stack. Because I know it's going to be Rappies, and the Lizards, and the Zoos, and the Shadowblade Lizards. All of which melt due to Gafoe. So I'm not even going to bother repositioning. I'm just going to believe in the Gafoe stack. I'll let Hell Cleave kill these. All I believe in is the Gafoe stack. Come to me, almighty Gafoe stack. Oh, beautiful stacks. GG. Okay, now I'll care. Um, I guess I can regular part of them. I definitely miss the days when I played early Phonu Rule and I could just go around using ice techniques. Sadly, a lot of enemies in multiplayer are resistant to ice and like an extraordinarily scale higher than in uh, single player. So, where like in single player you might be able to kill with three Bardas, you might have to kill in like six to seven in multiplayer, which feels kind of bad. Stopped Helpley from getting hit there. There we go. Soundtrack, please. And we're gonna have to swap it over in a moment. I think we hit the end. I knew it wasn't a long soundtrack, but we had like barely six minutes into the quest and it ended already. Oops. Anyway, I'm gonna put out some safety gafoes. Once these things are taken care of, I'm gonna move on. Steve Blue. Ooh, an interesting sound. Uh, so we're gonna try to find the magic spot. So the magic spot is a place where you can stand, and Gafoe will hit every enemy equally and kill them instantly. I think it's like right here. I think this is the magic spot. Because there's gonna be enemies in kind of like a very big ring. So the goal is to let them just spawn and die immediately. I think this is the right spot. You'll know if it happens if the Rappies die instantly. There you go. See how they died instantly there? I'm in the magic spot. It saves a lot of time if you can find it. Yeah, that Dwarfon's ultra dead. Love Kapoe, it's so good. Having multiple people stack it is a thing of beauty. Now sadly, this area is like a mix of Rafoe and Gafoe. I would say use whatever you want as you're leveling as a force here. It, if you have high level Rafoe, you can do stuff like this. But if you don't have it, it might make sense to Gafoe stack. There's gonna be like, this wave makes sense to Rafoe, this next wave makes sense to Rafoe, then after that, I guess Gafoe. Like, I'll do a little bit of lightning here to slow them down. And I guess I'll go into some stacks. I would say the biggest thing to remember with Force, sometimes you have to play the wave ahead of time. So like, I'm gonna believe in health cleave damage, or you potentially shipping out, I guess, as like, player 3, player 4. Kill the Astark. I don't really want to fight the Astark. I just want to kill the Rappies like that instantly. Anything I can do to set up here is what I want to be doing. I don't know where this lone zoo is, hopefully it dies soon. There we go. This Dorfon's gonna spawn in, and look at its health total. Rip health lead. I got you health lead.
kind of helpful use of Metro Defense. Back to Kapoe stacking. Because the thing before, as I mentioned, is just like... It's sometimes really tempting to kill enemies with your techniques. But I'm like, sometimes the Gafoe stack is more important in episode 4. Something that'll come with experience. Like, I know that's the final wave, so I won't Gafoe stack, for example. But people playing the quest for the first time won't know that. Uh, let's take these tribe fluids. It's pretty good. Um... I guess I'll go take that mine material. It's a little bit of a walk, but I should probably. I have enough definitely for one last Phonuman. There's definitely no question about that. I probably have like 300 mine plus. But it is value. Oh, somebody dropped a tri fluid for me. I will take that. So we're just gonna Gafoe stack. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> Episode four is a lot about just spamming Gafoe. Once we're once we're past these rooms, then it becomes Rafoe or Rizond. But these initial rooms, like look how fast they die with the Gafoe stack. It's so beautiful. Like they try and they just explode. Like hunters and rangers can't compete with this clear when we do stuff like this. Oh, so fast. Love to see it. Uh, the Rappies, just in case. Yeah, the tricky part, especially is like a phone roll, are like defenses. So like these enemies undebuff might kill players, but then you're kind of doing the trade off of, do I need to debuff them or do I need to just spam more Gafoe? So ha ha ha, it's level. Seriously? Wow. That's so BS. I think I mentioned before, I got a majority of my good Jaya's just playing very hard mode. Almost none of almost none of the Jaya's I have are from Ultimate, even though I have seen them and picked them up before. Yeah, this is where it becomes a little more ambiguous. We're gonna be fighting kind of annoying enemies like the Goron Detonator. Those are the ones that, like, I will be tempted to debuff, depending on who I'm with. Like, I see they're gonna get out of control, so I'm just gonna debuff them. Use Rizond here to kill the Marissas and hit the Goron Detonator. Um... Probably Rifoli on the Gurdabulu. So for this entire upcoming room, I'm going to switch out a magical piece. I happen to have a Rufoe merge. I'm going to do that for damage. The reason being is that Gafoe in the upcoming place is kind of slow. Like, it, it, you can clear with it. I'm not going to say you can't, but the difference between, like, being able to Rufoe this room and not is, like, almost like a minute plus in clear speed. Like, every wave will take, like, two to four extra seconds with Gafoe. Whereas, like, if I just stand in a very specific spot with the Rafoe, I basically just combo kill everything. So, like, one, two, three, I would have to use four shots to kill them without the Rafoe merge. Like, there's little things like that where we could do it. I can even Rafoe these guys to death and help with the other team kills, which is funny. Alright, now I'm further back, so now the Marissa should not reach me. That's what should happen. He managed to get to the hop. That's all he could do to heal the group. So we're going to come across another group that's like really far away. Like technically, if you had like three forces, you could have somebody in the middle, one person near the other spawns and one near the other. But it just makes more sense to uh, spam Rafoe from where I'm standing. We'll slow down the group as needed. Congratulations on level 79. Get these guys. A couple zaps. Now I'm going to Rizan, because this will stunlock the Goron Detonators, give Hellcleave time to kill. Once the Goron Detonators are dead, I'm going to switch back to Rufoe. Nicely done. And clean. Magic Rock Mula, nice. Uh, since 
Since I've high level Resond, I'm able to stunlock. I think if you're coming in here without super techniques, I don't think this is possible to do. But hey, that's why we power level with Bo Newman. You don't care about what's fair and what's not fair. Love how good Rafoe is in this room. I'm gonna put out one safety Kapoe. Lift the team a little bit. Okay, that'll discourage some dive bombs. Lift the team. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There we go. Goodbye. <laughs> Razan will stunlock these, so we get to feel super, super safe about this. Hell yeah. Easy. Uh, yeah, this next room I also don't Gafoe in. It's the final room I'll switch back to Gafoe. So these enemies will be like Rafoe, Razan, Rafoe, Razan. You'll find like kind of a rhythm with it. The zoos will, the zoos will usually Razan to stop from dive bombing. This room I like for Rafoe, just to show this off. If you have a high level Rafoe, just target this one and hit the whole room. Like that's so unfair. Like that saves so much time. It's It's crazy how good that is. I'll do a little bit of ice here, and then it'll be right back to Rifoe spam. Nice, chip the mill. I'm gonna do a Razan to hit the zoos, and then hopefully I can get a nice Rebarda stun lock. We're gonna go right back to Rifoe, into Razan, into Rebarda. Will you with Razan? That's fine. That was greedy. I don't know why I did that. I could have just rebarred it. Oh well. Bowie time. Hmm. Don't get him. Just this room, I will stick back to Gafoe, so I'll just equip whatever I need for it. Damn, no rare Rathies. How unfortunate. This is, I don't know what Misty Blue is, but I'm liking the soundtrack. <laughs> Bobbing my head to the music. The song is called Dancing Heart. Guess that checks out. I am dancing to the music. Oops, all Gafoe time. Yeah, once the Grand Detonators come out, I'll switch back to Razan. But until then, they get to witness the power of Gafoe stacks. Buff time. Build the team, make sure they don't die. Build the team. Build the team. There we go. Razan is able to hit them from far away. Oops, got body. Goodbye, Zoo. Hmm. I don't want any of these items. Yes, I do. There's more than one scape doll there. That's funny. Do the secret little box check. And we'll move on. Love the timer's still ticking down for me. That's so rude. <laughs> the quest is already done, and it's like, nah, you gotta hit the console. And we're gonna do a quick little box check. I'm gonna go. Dap. Dap. Nothing of interest. Unfortunately, when we complete this quest, we also get tickets, which we can hand in in episode 2. The 
to say silver, almost level 80. Very close. Yeah, this, this soundtrack is actually really good. Yeah, we'll do one more. I don't mind. I'm bobbing my head to this, though. Suku we picked up earlier. If anybody would like to hop in, this will be, we'll say the second to last run of the night. I'm gonna stop somewhere close-ish to midnight. anybody that wants to do a cookie run, let me know. That is a lot of escape dolls. Probably drop some for the team. Turn my Kofo emergence on, switch into magical piece. Some of these guys are just getting deleted so fast. It's hard to even believe these are waves of enemies sometimes. Just, they just actually explode. About to speed it up a little. One more Gafoe to hit the Rappies. We'll walk away. <sighs> Seriously. Hold on, chat. Hold on. <laughs> you just gotta... Gotta go back for... I, you can't... You can't not go back for a PD. Sorry if that slowed down the run. I needed that. I'll make up for it with some Rafoe here. Since I'm not close enough to Kapoe stack. I was gonna say, this does kind of remind me of pop music some extent like i i could almost hear some of this being on like the radio the way the soundtrack was composed it's kind of crazy the range this composer has honestly like it gives me kind of like that late 80s early 90s feel which makes sense given the time period of the game but Yeah, I was definitely like, hold it. <laughs> like, I'm not advancing without it. Another PD. Now, what is happening? I feel like I'm getting more... Like, it's, is it wrong to say, chat? I think I have unironically gotten more PDs between TTF and very hard mode than I have some of the days of the event with the boost. 
And that's with the boost also increasing drop rate up to improve the chance of it dropping photon drops. <laughs> I think that's my fifth one of the night. Like, we haven't been streaming that long, right? Like, are we averaging, like, one an hour, essentially? Yeah, not even. Faster than that. That's silly. I mean, every single one of them helps for sure. Oh, there we go. Huckleave arming himself did run. Like it's Asuka time. I've hit on it, nice. Oh, Caduceus randomly dropped. I should probably pick that up. A Caduceus with 20 hit. Why? I'm so confused, chat. I mean, I'll probably give it to Silver. I, I have enough Caduceuses. They've actually become the Mercurius or Curious Rod I could talk today. So if you don't have one of those, it's an easy pickup. What are these? Oof, the insta delete is so good. another rare drop. If it's, a, if it's another PD, I'm gonna be like, really? Where's this one we play on ultimate, right, chat? Or sometimes if we go like three hours, I don't even see a PD. It is another PD. Actually, unreal, chat. Check your head. Just like, okay. I don't feel like that's a normal PD drop rate. Is it just me, chat? Like, I feel like you normally get somewhere between like an hour, hour, ten minutes, you get a PD. <laughs> this one is special. I don't feel like you normally end up like really beating the hour mark by a lot. Like, granted, we are doing an enemy or a quest with more enemies, but we were also just doing TTF for like an hour and a half, which has like very little enemies. Kind of silly. I mean, this is just all probably PD's going to hell cleave anyway, since he's going to be helping me with mags. We're just collecting his payment in real time. That's all this is. Goodbye, Pyrogorons. Nice, level up. Congratulations on hitting level 80. Ease. Surf them real quick before we go for murdering. I'll help leave if I can. I feel help leave. This fireball should take care of the Marissas. You know what? I was gonna donate to Hell Cleave's Mag Blast, but I, I did not have enough meter. I tried. I reacted, but. Yeah, 
how Cleavo walked it. Hit this as soon as I freeze trap. Oof. See, that's why I don't put important things on my other buttons. Wondering why I never accidentally photon blast. You'll you'll only see it very rarely happen, and that's due to uh, if I'm messing around, mostly. Like if I if I got really lazy with Razan, I would be casting it that way. Otherwise, I just put stuff on the buttons there to look pretty. I don't use those buttons. It it did play unless it's like Foey on falls. I guess then sometimes I use the other panel. But as I said before, incredibly rare. I usually end up accidentally donating what I don't want to, because I'm usually the person that's menuing with this versus this. I guess that should teach me to actually menu with uh, the equip menu versus the shortcut menu. God, I was already on Rafoe merch. Material, I'm gonna want. Hopefully, about a solid level 50. There we go, chat. I can wield Red Ring now if I really want to. I will take the random tri fluid on the floor. See, that's normally what's supposed to happen, by the way, when I was talking about using Gazond on them. I think I have to Rafoe into a Gazond to make sure that they get stunned, because I think Lightning sometimes doesn't stun them, because it doesn't do enough damage. I'm gonna blind fire Rafoe and we'll leave. Damn, that damage is so fast. Barely get to move at all due to the stun lock. Brutal. Ooh, how ominous. This music. Wait a minute. I now know what this song is reminding me of. Why does that sound like the Final Fantasy 1 castle theme? Hold on a second. Hold on, we're, we're gonna go listen to the Final Fantasy 1 theme in a moment. I'm like, wait a minute. Dun, 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 dun. Did they only... They changed a couple notes there. Oh, hold on, you copying homework. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. We're gonna pause the soundtrack to go listen to that in a moment. And when you try to play another song, it's like, yeah, a couple of the songs, very Final Fantasy one. Give me a second. Hold on, we're YouTube. This one was Misty Blue soundtrack. Where is it at? This one. I was hearing that song and I'm like, why does that sound familiar?
I mean, I like the Misty Blue soundtrack, but I'm like, hmm. It's not like whole sections. There's like enough in there that it does its own thing. But it, it feels like they're teasing me with this song when I listen to it. Zoo needs to go by Mr. Zoo. What do you get for being out of bounds? Perish. Misty Blue. Operation Protectile Cleave. Bowie. I'm, I'm in brain off mode until I see Goron Detonator. I'm like one spell of the game. Apparently this is the opening of the game. Weird that they have it so late in the soundtrack list. I never understand that when people do soundtracks. Like either put it literally in like the order that it appears in the game or at least like close to it. I just don't understand when, like, credit music is, like, halfway through the playlist in particular. That one always annoys me. Like, why is there anything after the credits? Little madness. Like, one too many dye fluids, but whatever. Goodbye, Zoo. Damn, no rare rappies, though, so far. Kind of unfortunate. Do the box check. <laughs> At this rate, I feel like it's just gonna give me a PD again. Look who's doing that side. I'm gonna check this side. Items draw, but I think it was just a setup for me, sadly. Speaking of which, how many tickets am I up to? I'll do one more of these, and then maybe we'll just consume the tickets. I'm assuming I must be near max. Yeah, I'm getting close. So we'll do one more so the group can at least benefit from tickets expenditure. That'll be my final thing. That way we could say we did all the shops, more or less. Minus like- oh, my bad. Autopiloted. Ignore. Yeah, my bad. I put it on ultimate. I'm just so used to making ultimate games. Yeah, my bad. Uh, do that. Ooh, we're coming up to one of my favorite soundtracks. I was wondering when it was gonna pop up. this other game. Rice. NES game? What is it? I'm gonna type in game. I keep getting Evangelion, but that's not it. Rice. Game. So, let's see if we can get it there. It's a puzzle game similar to Column.
can only find one song related to it, but I guess it's better than nothing. That way we could say that we at least listened to it, I guess. Oh, that reminds me, uh, Silver, did you want the Caduceus? I sold the PDs, that would have been a, a big goof. Huh. I'll just drop it on the floor. If there's anything else you want, by the way, Silver, I wasn't sure how much you wanted in terms of equipment. Otherwise, I'm happy with just leveling you while doing some actual legit runs. We're hoping to see Rare Rappy here on Blue ID. Because if it shows up, it means an Ignition Cloak, which is a fantastic item for forces. But so far, it's like, nope. Thou shalt not receive it. This sounds like credit music. And to no one's surprise, it is the final song on the soundtrack. So we'll listen to one song from the puzzle game that I cannot find a full soundtrack to. Say that we listen to it, which is better than nothing. I don't like skipping soundtracks. We'll listen to this song slightly out of order because it's legitimately only one song. If it was a full soundtrack, we would have listened to it later. I'd rather just listen to it now and get rid of it. Fill up the team a little. Fill up the team again. Some Robardas. Excellent. Team healthy. Nice and simple. You know what would be funny, chat? If we see Rare Dorfon before Rare Rappy. Just saying. The game has all the opportunity it has to troll. Like, today is the day. Just <laughs> like four Dorfons and like the quest total, and it's like, you know what? Dorfon Eclair. Nice PD. One more good bowie, that's my fault. Yeah, I do like that Barda still ends up being used as a spell, and Bowie has like one use in Ultimate. I do miss it. I kind of wish Gabarda was like just Barda times three. So it would hit like normal Barda, but then it would also travel in a very long line in every direction. I wish that's how it was set up versus how it actually works. Oh well. Got 
nuked. Fourteen bait's healthy. A couple of grants. I could probably pick up that tri fluid. Save me some money later. So unfortunate because I'm just about to get Bowie stacked. Alright, let's listen to that one song on the other playlist. We'll move on. That way we could say we heard thrice the soundtrack. Nice level. Their job. Yeah, those Dwarfons are actually just getting messed up right now. Hopefully, buff, because that's important. Nice Gaboe stack. Ooh, beautiful Gaboe stacks. Deleted that Dwarfon. On something good. A little bit of Streets of Rage. Do a little bit of that listening to this. Now we're coming to one of my favorite soundtracks. Here it comes, chat. Photon Crystal, nice, congratulations. That's a good pickup. We're gonna debuff so Hellcleave doesn't get absolutely mauled. We're gonna heal Hellcleave. There we go. We've listened to this a few times on stream before. <laughs> like, we we were inevitably gonna hear this one again, but yeah. Indeed, it's an SNES game. We played it on stream a long time ago. Damn, this game was fun. I was gonna say, if you're not sure what game it is, we'll give a hint. It involves you often taking over an avatar slash an angel character whenever you go into the action stages. I think the game described it as like statues of the likeness of the master. I think that's how it was described. Yeah, I remember this game too when you play as like the little cherub. You're sniping the uh, enemies, trying to keep the townspeople safe. Probably one of the few games I could think of where it has like a hybrid game mode that I liked. 
It's kind of funny that it came from, like, SNES era of all things. Almost didn't swap in time. But anyway, for those that don't know, it is Act Razor. Yeah, your score upon completing a dungeon impacts the town population, which I did not realize right away. It's one of those ones where people often mistake it for Castlevania because it is just that good. Especially when we get to the Fillmore theme. a lot of fun with the game. I think the difficulty was about right. Like, it can be very easy, but depending on what you do, it does make the game a bit harder. Like, if you don't go out of your way to collect, like, the Comet power-up, for example, it does make the game actually significantly more challenging. I'm also kind of curious if I did, like, a boss rush of the game versus, like, getting all the extra scrolls and things like that. The game would be, like, more proper challenging difficulty. I like what it was. I felt rewarded for doing the extra stuff in the town mission. I don't want it to still feel like quote unquote too hard. I decide to not do them. Or I do decide to do them. Kill everybody else. I'll still remember. I will always die in Blood Pool. That, uh, that, that platforming did not treat me well. I actually did surprisingly well in this, the desert area, despite there being a lot of jumps where you will die if you miss it. Something about Blood Pools at a main placement, I usually just died at some point to it. And I think they knew players were going to die to it, because in that same area there's a 1-up, so it's like, I'll never, like, game over from it. But I do have to constantly go back to it. Oh, I'm going to have to fill more. Probably my s second or third favorite song in the soundtrack. Damn, this song is so good. Turn that music up a little. Yeah, I would say Silver, before you hop into Ultimate, you will find a very significant difficulty jump, especially without, like, completed mags and stuff like that. So, depending on your ID, I'd recommend picking up some Elemental Staffs or trading for them, because they're pretty cheap. Like, your, your Fire... Wand... Oops. Storm Wands and Ice Scepters. Fire Scepter. Yeah. This episode in particular will be like level ground for force for a long time. As I said before, this character has gotten to 180 just by playing very hard mode. The XP here is actually very silly. This, this has stuff mostly in the right order. Gotta fight that boss. Although I see Pyramid is up next, and that is not possibly ever true. You cannot Pyramid this early. Your filthy liar soundtrack. Pyramid is like the third area. Get out of here. 
We didn't even hear the town music yet. Yeah, I think it's like Blood Pool in the Pyramid. Technically, it opens up a bit more and you can do them slightly out of order, but the intended order is to not do Pyramid next. Time to burn these tickets, chat, while we listen to the ActRaiser soundtrack. It's, I think the cap is 255. I don't think they spared more uh, bites for it. I'm pretty sure it's 255. No worries. Sorry that we didn't get a fourth person help leave. I would have been cooking with you. Nothing of interest over there interest over there. Any levels better than none? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll chip at it. If there's people that are just looking to level in general in the future, I don't mind doing some of these. Yeah, we got a hilarious three photon drops from one quest. Still not quite sure why that happened, but that's fine. Scrappy beef, perfect fodder for uh, help leave later. How many PDs did we end with, by the way? We're back up to 82. Crazy. So we're going to go ahead and open up the episode 2 shop. The so silver, if you don't know how to use the tickets that you've been picking up, we'll show you how to do it. I'm going to go ahead and hand everything in since I'm good to go. I'm going to make the quest in episode 2, and then I'm going to select the shop quest at... Let's just do something with it. There we go. Yeah, those tickets potentially could give something nice. I should probably make sure I'm not capped on anything in particular. Okay, I'm good. Drop the Moname, don't need that. We'll give chat a moment or two if they want to join. Otherwise, I'm going to be burning all those tickets we just picked up. Fifty hip knife. Or dark. Oh, that's a shame. I should have been hit. That would have been very silly. Okay. I'm assuming nobody is joining me. We'll take a drink. I take the drink. I'll continue after I'm done. GG, thank you. Definitely know I have some items to grind still. No worries, Silver. I always help you as needed. Yeah, let's go to the shop. I'm gonna go to the one that... My easiest way to remember it, because there's a lot of shops that are in here. Rather than reading any one of these letters and names, just look for the one with hyphens. No, it's Not only is it the longest one, but it has hyphens. Like, what is the name of the quest? I don't know. It's the one with the hyphens. There's only one quest, I think, in the game that has it like that. Damn, I lost again to the camera game. Alright, chat, let's see if I get anything good. So yeah, so Silver's been picking up tickets, Hellcleave has been picking up tickets, but every time we do a lap of Massive Attack B, we get a decent number of tickets. If you die, you get less. If you escape Doll, you keep them. So we only spend five tickets per attempt here. Hi, Grinder. That's fun. Uh, we're hoping for something big here. We need something a little higher than 5th place. No, that's still 5th place. So for example, we can get Gyrasols or Photon Drops or Photon Crystals. Our material is actually a pretty good pickup, I'm not gonna lie. 
Luck material would be preferred. TP 20,000 or 200,000 Meseta would be good. I feel like we're getting a little unlucky, so that tells me I probably already got the best items from this quest. Because that makes the odds of getting good stuff a little lower. Hey, I'm up to power material. I swear there's something higher than fourth place. Hopefully we will demonstrate it live. Kind of unreal how bad this is so far. Come on. This is at least the third place. You don't have to go straight to first. Work your way up. You know, it's a little warm up. Try grinder, okay. Now I feel like the game is actually trolling me. Evade material, ew. That is the worst possible thing it could give me. Yeah, I'm definitely getting unlucky. Where are the other prizes? Holy. What was that? Almost 80 tickets so far and I haven't seen anything above 4th? This is getting crazy. Hello? Where are the other prizes? I'll take a second place. 200,000 is a lot of Meseta for new players. There we go. I got a different ranking. This It was in a different position. Luck material. Okay. That's fine. Luck material is actually pretty good to get out of this. Luck and power material are the things that I would like. 200,000 is like the consolation prize. First place for PD is obviously the best, but we're we're not going in expecting to get it. So yeah, based off of the position of the firework, you can kind of tell what thing you got already. I think they reused like fifth and fourth, third and or yeah, fifth and fourth use the same. Third and second, I think use is similar, and then first place has its own one. If it starts in the center, I know it's a first place. Like that'll be fifth or fourth because it started on the left. Now we're back in Blood Pool for some reason. There we go. That should be second place? Third place. Uh, HP material, not worth it. The worst prize we could get is evade material for sure. Grinders are at least always usable. Evade material is like, damn, you don't even want it. It's, it's worth almost nothing. Oof. Big oof, chat. You haven't gotten a single second place yet. We're almost 100 tickets in. Come on. Oof. Well, I think chat can see how I got all my grinders. <laughs> right? I mean, like, I do need a lot of them. Okay, this is third or second. I think it's third. Okay, two luck material. Things are turning around a little bit. Luck material is kind of annoying to get, so getting, like, three or four from this would be huge. My material is also a good pickup. It does feel like I'm fighting a powerful enemy of RNG. There we go. 200,000 Meseta. Much better. Ooh, we got second or third again. Nice. Might actually have to go back and deposit money. That's always a good sign. My hunters need their cash. For those not aware, the song is called Powerful Enemy. That's why I made that comment earlier. Boss fight music. EP material. Okay, not bad. The <laughs> victory music plays. Yeah, the songs are not in order. Now we're hearing the town music for the first time for some reason. I just feel confused now. Okay, so we got like 12 more to go. Well, 14 I think. Nice. We're getting closer, Chad. It started to slowly not troll us. The double 200,000 back-to-back is huge, because I play Hunter, and they eat money if I play single-player. If I play multiplayer, I I only lose like 5,000 a run, or sometimes I gain 5,000, depending on how many bosses drop money. When we were doing it during the big event, I was actually going money positive at all times, because two boss drops basically pays for Jaya, 
with money boost. If every boss drops money, then I in without the money boost, then it's about equivalent. Falls in particular. Falls plus fall up giving me money. Almost cancel it. So yeah, I'll, I'll pay for like two or three Jaya swings during a fight. We're down to, I think, nine. One game. Ooh. I do like this. This might be one of my favorite songs on the soundtrack. The weird bubble tree is very memorable to me in this game. Where you're just constantly trying to jump up bubbles floating upwards. Yeah, we're in like the winter forest theme. Come on, game. Second or third place, okay. Okay. Uh, hoping for luck material there over HP, but whatever. Two luck materials is not bad from this. I consider this mostly a win just due to those alone. But since this character does so many massive attack Bs, I have to just kind of drain his tick account every now and then or I'll see legit caps. Ooh, defense material. Yikes, not good. Okay, last roll. Are we gonna get anything interesting? Second or third? Hopefully it's 200,000 Masetta. Nice, it is. What a good way to end. So we started real shaky there with the ticket redemption, I'm not gonna lie. But it turned around a little bit. Yeah, you can see I have like a million materials now. I can't put most of this away. So I think what I need to do is just have a character pick up these materials. Kept on HP. We kept on evade. We have an, a decent amount of grinders back in the share bank. The f I have characters with like stacks of 99, but for casual weapon pickup, I think I have enough if I pick something up like a cannon rouge or something in the future. But yeah, putting away this much cash is kind of huge. And again, he just ends up depositing more money than most characters, because he's just doing blue ID runs. Doing shenanigans. Oh, was that a bot? Did I, did I see for a flicker? It was a bot. Rip the bot chat. Um, I don't think there's anything else I really want to do. We're, we're getting a little past where I wanted to go. In terms of time. So I think we'll stop here for now. The only thing I'm thinking about is... Uh, are any of my characters here able to hold on to materials? Because the way I view it is that every single spare character having 99 power is about what I need while I'm leveling like a Hugh cast. So I think most of them should be capped at this point. So I'm just gonna check to see if they have power materials. Yeah, we have a lot of thank yous to do in the future. Ooh, this character can hold mine material. That's actually huge. We're gonna take care of that right now. Mine material and power material cap super fast. So many badges. We'll take whatever we can. Because at least then I can remove it very gradually from my pool. We're gonna do this until it stops me. Okay. Does he also have 99 in here? Nice. Oh, and he could deposit more mine material as well. That's actually huge. That is actually huge. Okay, so we finally freed up some mine materials. Perfect. Perfect. So I need to see if any character can hold my power materials. But basically, if I want to, I could probably have like three or four you cast at 450 attack power. Because I think most of my characters are now double stacked. So I essentially have uh, 198 power materials times four. 
let alone however many arbitrary power materials are on the other characters. So for the Hue cast, I could just leave them in the level up build and not worry about min max until later. He can hold some power material. Let me take care of that. I think we've made a lot of progress, at least with materials. Playing the event quest has, uh, I think given us like 150 or 160 power by itself. Remember that two different times we removed, I think, 60 material? And then we still ended up with 99 in the share bank at the end. That is a whole ton. How do you change the size, not the resolution of the game? Grab some of these. I'm gonna leave that more to chat. I mean, normally if I have it on a resolution, the resolution is the size of the game. I don't think there's a way to really stretch it. But maybe there is a, a zoom option on the launcher. I don't usually touch it. On my screen, it's very tiny, but I, I play it on the big screen big monitor through OBS. So for me, that's how I resize it. Which is not how most people will play with it. So like, this window is not stretched to me by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, wow, this character is sitting on 99 luck materials. A lot. It's indeed a lot. Alright, so let's check two more characters, then we'll end. Hope Eve says launcher options, then windowed mode. Good to know. Thank you, Hell Cleave. Yeah, I was gonna say, for me, I literally just choose the resolution I want to see it out on my small monitor, and then I usually watch the big monitor. Although when I do that, I have to make sure to move certain things out of the way. So you'll hear me at the start of streams complain, because I forget to do something, and then it looks weird. It's high-res HUD being set to 160, I went 150. This character can hold more mind materials, which is fine. I think we're out of room for it, though. This character hold any more power materials? So many yellows. So many yellows. Holy, so many yellows. Where are the materials? <laughs> here, here we are. Alright, uh, so, I, so I don't have a lot of extra mind materials. I do have a ton of power. So you can see I've now been to two different characters, and they're all at 99. I'm gonna check one more set. I only keep it on Windows mode so I can tap it in and out. Makes sense. Yeah, I definitely don't recommend full screen. Trade me some later? Maybe. I'm hoping I won't need them. As I said before, help leave. Like... Even if I give 150 power materials to four different hue casts, that still doesn't deplete the number that I have. So I think I'm good there. I can still level the rocket seals. Doing putting the rocket seals at 150 power, I might not have enough. Putting them at min max, I definitely have enough. So if I put it this way, if it's 150 per, it would be 600 total. I have about one, I have about 200 per character. I think that works out mathematically. So many power materials. So I am actually surprisingly low on mind material. This is what I've learned. This character can hold some power material. Better than nothing. I didn't see if I had any... I forgot to look for HP material. But I'm assuming I'm capped on every character. Forgot to look. Unfortunate. Yeah, I don't have too much space left. I'm gonna have to probably just dump this on another character. The question is who hold on to it. Be my first character? I don't know. I might just leave it for now. At least I could put some materials away between all my other characters. But keep in mind, I still haven't even gathered all my PDs. 
We managed to get up to 28 luck material, so we did it. We got there eventually. I think I have like 140 luck material, which isn't too bad. Probably take the TP material if I want out of here, just to free up a slot. How I hit that? Is it this? There we go. I check one more character. I think it was this character. Then we'll move on. Oh no, another bot. We were doing well, Chad. We didn't see them, and then I, I, I jinxed it. I shouldn't have mentioned the bots. The bots are real. I probably want to get my super B502 off of this character before we go too much further. I will forget it's on this character if I don't remove it. I don't care that if, like, my raw cast has it. And having a raw seal have it is not the end of the world, but I do play as other characters. I'm gonna at least grab it from this character. Also, I need to fix her chat shortcuts. Is it like... Let's find out. I did that in the wrong order, and I guess that I did it in the wrong order. So we call that very lucky. <laughs> All right, Chad, I could have accidentally just logged off there. I'll learn eventually my order. Oh, that's right, she did pick up a Vivian. B502. She can hold my B101. That I don't care about. Demon's Laser. I don't really care if she holds that. She's now asking the same thing as because something had to reinstall the game. Oh, no worries. No worries. So you're allowed to ask as many questions as you want in regards to the PSO. I'm not guaranteed to answer them because I might not know them. Hmm. Add-ons is a fun process. Anyway, the character that I did want to check real quick was the other one. Yeah, I guess Tiggy didn't return. Tiggy went for food, never to return. Rip Tiggy. <laughs> we lost Tiggy somewhere. Man down. Also, this is definitely just the Fox theme. Right, Chad? Is it not me? Like, that's 20th Century Fox. Food consumed him, yeah. Welcome to the team, apparently. Damn, this character has a lot on them that I gotta put away. Yeah, I'm happy that this character became real. So having a white ID ranger for either limiter or tower stuff, I think helps a lot. So many things to give away here. Question. Now at 85 PDs. Was she the character that had the materials? Oh no. She is... Oh my gosh, look how many more I have in here, chat. Like, look at the- I have so many materials, holy. I really just need to make some characters. Elkley was worried about me having power materials. I'm like, hell no. <laughs> hell no. Uh, we gotta- Jeez, what do we even do with all this? I guess I take these out. Put these away. So that was just all from one week. There's one more character that has it. I just don't remember who offhand. I was pretty sure this was one of the characters. It could have been on my force, maybe. Make them use all before leveling, something like that. See, so yeah, we're at 99 silver badges again in the shop, and I can put away these 13 luck material. Insane. I'm gonna check my uh, bank real quick to see if there's anything else that I should be aware of before we go further. I'm gonna search by silver badge explicitly.
if I could get it to pop up. Yeah, I can see this character stuff. Yeah, it's true. It is nice that they're able to get through without the prep. Gold badge. Who has a gold badge? My phone Newman has a gold badge. Really? Oh, we'll get to that eventually. Also, that is a disgusting number of items. Wait, who's this on? Oh, it's on my S bank. Okay, I was gonna say. I was gonna say that better be on uh one of my later characters. I swear, if I had that many gold badges. Yeah, there is. I was going to lose my mind. Yeah, chat can't see what I'm looking at, but I'm scrolling through the massive wall of items. I think that's about it. So I still have a couple gold badges floating around. I randomly have 97 evade material on somebody. It's my faux moral? Yeah, it's my faux moral. Next time I play, so I just make all the rest of the characters and feed them? Maybe. Might have to. I have, like, a very silly amount. Okay, I don't see anything else. Music has paused. Hunter doesn't have anything. My hue cast has nothing. Only thing I'm missing is the XP bar add-on. Yeah. I don't think I have the link. Well, let me check. I might still have the link. Might not. There's, like, the master list link. I'm probably using the Tomu or Torn Up Gaming link for it. Uh, I think that's about it, then. So that was kind of, like, the major batch that I didn't do before. I think the others are already taken out. So, yeah, just overall, lots of photon drops. There's still several across many of my characters. As I said before, it's going to end up being a happy little surprise. There's characters just holding like 5, 10 photon drops for no reason. Who's holding this gold badge? My Ramar. Interesting. Alright, let me put that away and that'll be the final thing I think I do tonight. Yeah, we had a lot of people follow. I think next time we do something on non PSO related, we'll go through the list. I think there's a couple people that I miss. Yeah, after this, we're going to take a PSO break. We might help Hellcleave on another day. And probably at some point, we will end up doing, uh, what's it called? Halloween event. I have something planned for it. I just have to practice it a little bit. And then that should be good. I might spitefully level up uh, <laughs> Secrets of Grindia while we do other grinding in PSO. Double dip, yeah. See, chat, there, there are just too many materials on this character. I'm like, I should probably put some of these away. <laughs> yeah, we have, uh, you know, just a few. A few things we should probably not be holding on to. Damn, that's right, silver material cap. So yeah, we are really good to go. I almost thought she was going to recap a uh, power material there for a second. So I'm probably going to have to designate one more character for holding materials, and then I think going forward, I might just end up uh, trading them away for PDs. Wait, this character is a 13? Oh. I should probably put that in our inventory. I thought I'd put all my 13s on one character. So seeing that on any other character to me is very surprising if they're not already wearing it. So, oops, on that one. L laser, demon laser. That's fine. Yeah, because it is like slightly better resist, but more importantly, 13 is 13. There's a spread needle. I think it's her spread needle. Yeah, it's her spread needle. That's fine. I, I don't usually put it on her because of the quest that we do. That's fun. Because I'm like, I'm not going to bring Spread Needle in, like, uh, Pew Pew Laser Time. I was, like, trying to reduce how many items I had. So that I'm not surprised about. Uh... Is there anybody else I want to check? I guess there's one character I think that is worth checking. 
this character. I'm gonna check the uh, FOMOR actually while I'm here. But yeah, I'm gonna probably designate one of my forces to hold more materials. But just let me know, chat, if you just need a few. <laughs> we'll do the loaning service, although I don't necessarily want materials back. I think when people were trying to do the challenge mode weapons, I think like for every 10, just getting one back in interest eventually. I think I'm happy with that. We have enough PDs, we could do some loans. Oh, is that all he had on him? Hmm. Thought he had more. Maybe I put them away already. Oh well, if it's just that, it's that. I thought he had PDs. Never mind. Disregard must be an old character view. Anyway, let's talk about uh, how we feel the runs went tonight. Sadly, no red ring, but we did get a bazillion PDs. We helped some people level. Uh, I think in the future, if we have a group of, like, four people, we'll probably do cookie quests. So I owe Hellcleave some. But I think aside from that, uh, we probably won't touch PSO again until at least the October event. The intent being that we're not really going to be doing, like, TTF or anything until we're done with the gimmicks. But we're going to at least try to get, I think, hard unlocks and Secrets of Grindia while we go forward and try to get Jaya's and other items unlocked. So probably on the day of, it's probably going to be, if I had to guess, like the second weekend of October. The event should probably be li live by then, so the 12th or the 13th. We'll probably pick one of the days. It might be a Saturday night as opposed to some of the other ones. And if chat needs some items unlocked, just let me know. I am more like not going to need to have chat items to unlock. I do have an Excal. I don't really have anything else worth unlocking. We did briefly go for Swordsman lore uh, during the event itself, but I didn't really pick one up from what I recall. So I don't have any units that could be unlocked. So chat, if you have anything, if you have limiters or anything like that, or if you're planning to get limiters, uh, I will offer to unlock them or at least offer a lot of help towards unlocking them by just literally wearing them as I go on a killing spree. Just let me know. But otherwise, I think it's time to say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you for watching, and hope to see you again in the next event.